Alter! This microphone is killing me. Well, now you can hear me, guys. I'm sorry. Like, great that I was explaining and talking the entire time, by the way. <laughs> okay, so th then you also don't know what I'm doing here. Hey, guys. So, do not touch 9110, wrote on YouTube, challenge for you to play ranger and use only crossbows, it is the hardest run you will have, crossbow and paper seems good but it doesn't scale how you think it does, I try doing it in a run. So we are doing it, and I was talking the entire time and explaining my thoughts and whatever I'm going through, and well, yeah, you couldn't hear anything of that because the... The microphone that I used, the software had an update and I think that messed it up. So yeah, great. Um, I also expect that we don't get very far here because I have four crossbows right now. And optimally speaking, we would already like to be in a blue territory at this point. Uh, but let's see what happens. But that, that is that is great. That is great. Pretty sure he knows so he can focus. No, I didn't know. <laughs> you would still hear me randomly talk. The two armor is nice, there's a crossbow that's perfect, pierce, this is good, the healing is actually nice because we don't have a lot of HP, but I don't care. Is 3% crit worth it? I don't think so, let's continue. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened, that, uh, once I read chat. Well, I was reading chat, but I'm a little bit behind, you know, so it took some time. Especially in games like Protato, where I can't just easily read chat, I just quickly glance over and then pick out some messages that I read. Um, hoping that it's not one that catches my attention all too much, because that's usually how I die. It's like something that I... Like, there's a word in there I don't fully understand, and then I have to start thinking, or the message is too long. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, all in all, not enough crossbows. I would have really liked to have more here, because the crit scaling also goes up as far as I know. Which is then piercing, but we already have piercing now with high damage, so I like that. And hello everyone. Hello, hello. Did I... No voice? Yeah, that was the one that I saw, the no voice. Let's take the dodge then, I guess. Two armor is okay. Another crossbow is amazing. Kupa is always good. Another crossbow is amazing. Recoverables could honestly be a nice way to recover HP, but we don't have a lot either way, so who cares. This is plus 1 damage, minus 0 0.5 damage, that's what I said earlier. It's actually plus 0 0.5 damage, minus 0 0.5 damage, wait, what? What did I bought that? <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> I wasted the money there. Okay, sure. Oh, that's great. That's good. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, what I had in mind was, there's the Hunter, right? And the Hunter gets, like, percent damage for range. And it's, like, 1% per 10 range. So there, it's like, it doesn't make a difference. I would rather have the flat increase of the range damage and then lose a little bit percentage-wise, but it's, like, nothing, right? It would be 0.1%. But no, no, the crossbow has a high range scaling. Yeah. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, that's really interesting. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> the first purchase I did in this run. And I wasted my money. There has so much value there. That could have been another crossbow. Oh, that was sad. Uh, 15 luck is amazing to get more items. That is good. Crit and range damage. Range damage actually has a lot of value. Like, the melee damage is not worth it, but the range damage is, in my opinion. That is bad. Yeah, let's just roll. Uh, it doesn't scale how you think. Funny, right? No, I think... I think, like, I mean... I think it scales exactly like that, right? You have range damage, which it's major... Like, is the major effect on it. And then you also get range, right? Like, the only difference to Hunter is that Hunter has an easier crit scaling. But if you look at this, like, we have right now 19 damage, right? Isn't this insane on wave 8? Usually you don't have that much. I mean, okay, it depends on what you pick, obviously, but usually you don't have that much. I mean, that's a common, right? This is a 22. Let's actually take a look at the difference. So, 56% crit, 61% crit. Crit damage goes up, yeah. And I think, like, the, the final one has a 2.5 crit uh, damage, if I remember right. I still don't like it. I think we were too slow with the crossbows. I needed more crossbows to get more kills on other waves. And now I'm behind. Because I'm missing attack speed. 
Yeah, I don't like that. I need more attack speed. I need way more attack speed. Like, I remember we had, like, what, 500 range there? <laughs> Just a little bit. Mmm, sure. Um, it doesn't have a lot of value for us, but I'll buy it. How much piercing can one man have? I mean, that- wait, no, that's not worth it. I'll not buy that. I don't care. I have a feeling we'll die here, because if I don't pierce enough, I'll just be dead. It will be- it will all depend on how much we crit, if we crit at the right moments. But yeah, we need higher levels of the crossbows and more attack speed, that's like the main thing. And me not wasting money on the lens. I should- I, honestly, I even, I even started calculating the damage on the lens. No, I didn't write, I just bought it, yeah. I only did it later. That's kind of hilarious. I actually don't remember if we had 500 range in the hunter run. I think we had this in a different run, with the tasers, right? With the mage. And then I said, like, wow, we had even more in the um, mage run than we have with the hunter run. In the hunter run, we had, like, 200 or 300. Yeah. Okay. Uh, crit chance is amazing. Range damage is ginormous, even though percent damage is also nice. So let's take a look at this. So this is a huge damage increase, right? That sounds good. Do I ever want to have the pierces? Because if you already pierce, how many times? Three times, we hit four enemies with a single crossbow. I don't feel like I need more. Uh, let's get the luck though. There's another crossbow, beautiful. Do we want more crits? That's not worth it. Mm. Sure. This is the time to die. It actually has a lot of value to us. Sure. I would have loved to have to keep uh, the peacock on the last wave because there were so many enemies. But I think I would have died there because I got hit a few times and 50% bonus damage is no joke. On 17 HP. The first boss fight will be very difficult because I have no HP build up. That means what I want to do is mostly run away. Which is also not that great because there are just some bosses that are impossible to run, run away from. The dasher that has the two lines that they shoot out, I have never managed to escape that dude. Like, if I wasn't already overpowered and ju just killed everyone, including the boss, uh, then he would kill me. I, I think that that um, boss is way too strong in comparison to others. Like, either buff up the others and make him insane, or lower him. Because if you have, like, a not a, an amazing luck run, or let's say you haven't played Potato a lot, that dude will just end your run immediately. Hi, problem child. Welcome. Lifesteal is bad. Health is good because I struggle a little bit. I'll take the armor here, I think, just to survive a tiny bit better. Mm, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, that is plus one damage. That is actually not little. Yeah, I'll take that. The crit is an interesting, but we lose a lot of damage for that. Okay, let's continue. Um, how much piercing can one man have? I remember correctly, the world record is about 200 piercings. <laughs> you still couldn't tell me why Killer Spark is special, except it's somewhat like shooting them. Guess what? I don't like AOT. I, I have a feeling you're talking to someone else, right? Because Killer Spark doesn't even ring a bell for me. I do know AOT though. Yeah, I, I need way more damage at this point. Like, optimally speaking, we would have wanted to have way more attack speed early on to, to hit, just wipe out the enemies, get way more material, get way more bonus damage, and then we would be in a way better position here. I doubt that we will win this run, but hey, if we do it, that would be great. But like, wave 12 is the horde wave, and this will be ridiculously hard if we don't have enough damage and attack speed. Because the difference with the horde wave at 9, which is not really a horde wave, but the... Uh, and the horde wave now will be that this horde wave now is like it has strong enemies in there, right? So yeah, good luck. Um, 
Okay, I'll take the HP. I actually think that was bad. Okay, game. Uh, oh, I would usually love to buy that, but it's pointless. That is a lot of bonus damage, but I think... Uh, I'm not sure if that was actually right. Ah, hör doch auf, man! I love you! But you're bad! You suck! Yeah, come, give me all the items that I don't want to... Oh, yeah, come, more enemies. Let's just do it. Let's, let's say GG. I don't know where the crossbows are. Like, sometimes this game really doesn't want to give you weapons. I think there should be, like, a minimum of every third rule, you're guaranteed to get a weapon that you have. You know, like a pity system that many games have. Like in Hearthstone, if you open like seven packs or so, you always get a legendary to not feel too bad and keep spending money on it. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Yeah, like, great. I mean, I, as I said, I don't like think we'll survive this. There are too many tanky enemies in here, and once they overwhelm the stage, it's really hard to dodge all of them. How am I surviving? Something is wrong with the sounds, by the way. I don't hear my shots anymore. I think too many enemies are burning. That is that is one of the saddest horde waves I've ever played. Like, playing through a horde wave and having 350 material sh should be a bannable offense. That you just, you just get removed out of the game. You don't belong here anymore. Uh, horrible. I mean, okay, just gotta complain enough, then everything works out. <laughs> if we now get Retromation... Oh, wow, Retromation Hoodie will reduce the damage by 8. Okay, I don't care about the damage reduction by 8 if you bump up my attack speed by... a lot. Do the math yourself. I skipped a blue one? Really? Oh. That was intentional. Definitely. <laughs> right, listen, I just woke up. Uh... These... Okay, so the funny part is, I turned on the indicators that you can see the projectiles better, and all it does now is confuse me. Because for some reason, whenever I see them, I want to walk on them because they look so choosy. Do you see that? There's this color. It's like, eat me, eat me. I'm a, I'm a choosy berry. Touch me. You need me. I'm like, yes, yes, I want that. <laughs> oh, I'm getting zero kills. I think what I have to do is I just have to go for tank build now. Dodge, armor, because we didn't get the stuff that we wanted to have and I missed one crossbow apparently as well. But yeah, we are not getting any money. Ah, uh, sure, why not? HP, I don't care. Let's, um... This is 3 damage, this is 1 damage. Sure. That could actually be nice. Okay, boss fight. Is it time to die? Oh, it's uh, Okay, we'll never kill him. Like, you can forget about this. Dude is super duper tanky. Like, even in my good runs, I have issues killing him. Not as the first... Like, the first... As the first boss, he's fine. Wait a second, I'm noticing we're dealing... Okay, but the problem is the enemies are building up if I focus too much on him, yeah. I'll just ignore him. Because, you know, this is now not video time, this is try-hard time. Try-hard time, you don't care if you kill a boss. Video time, ah, you need a red item. Okay, that's way better. To get an amazing item out of that. Red items, like, the thing is, most red items either way suck badly. So it's like, yeah, wow, you, you lost the run or you re you almost died, you know, for red item that you sell. Like, just imagine struggling to do anything and almost dying and then you get torture. It's like, yeah, whatever. Whatever, dude. One or two material on the floor. Meh. Mine, okay, so this is actually something I would want to do. Because I've given up on the run, right? So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I can... Do I actually care about that? Yeah, I do, right? Because the other piercing is, I think, also reduced, yeah. Um, yeah, because now the point is only survival, right? So, there are many, like, the easiest way to win a potato is you go for turtle build that just pushes away enemies with a lot of attack speed or a lot of lifesteal. Like, something like flamethrower is insane for that. Um, you will see this in some of my videos because there are some characters I just didn't get along with. I, I couldn't play them, they were not my style, and I always died. 
And then I always decided to go for the turtle build, it's my favorite build to just get a free win. You go for tankiness, you go for knockback, you go for a lot of lifesteal. For weapons with very high attack frequency, so you lifesteal a ton. Nowadays easier than ever, because when you crit kill you even get more HP. And then you just run away. You just hide. You just hide. That's all you do. Okay, I'll be honest, like, this was an unlucky run on the stuff that we got, but, like, we are still killing a huge amount of enemies. I, 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 don't, I, I don't see the challenge. It's not over yet, okay, so there's definitely a way of dying, but, like, when I do something that is complicated, I should have taken that statue, I think. Standing still getting 40% attack speed sounds ridiculous. Um, yeah, if I, like, if I would expect, like, a super hard run... <laughs> creative sounds um yeah then i would have expected to already die pretty much that is actually really good right because we hit like four enemies which i still don't know if each hit can apply lifesteal but whatever the run is not valid if you don't kill all bosses you can't you can't just make up rules on the run while the run is going on <laughs> that's not how it works <laughs> And actually we had so much damage for the Rhino, I think we could have actually killed it. But it's just too much stress. But yeah, that, that, like, you, you, you can't just say, hey, play a run with Ranger and Crossbow, and then in hindsight, <laughs> he's like, yeah, hold on a second, you didn't kill the boss, you have to do that. Uh, okay, good morning, Janine. Okay, so, I will, okay, I will try to kill the next boss, okay? I obviously can't go back in time and now kill the Rhino. Also, I'm not even sure if he could have, and I would have like played the run entirely differently if I need, knew I need the damage right. Um, okay, let's attempt to kill all the bosses, but I'll promise nothing because I've played 16 waves of, well, no, the first, I would say eight, I was still in there to win it with damage, but like we we don't have enough damage to do anything anymore, right? So it's like, yeah, yeah, that's not worth it. I mean, it's cheap. Yeah, sure. It's not great. Alter, I'm like, are you kidding me? Ach, deine Mutter, I want that. I'll try. Oh, no. Oh, that's really bad. It's a summon guy, right? The Brat Mother. Oh, that's really. Okay, that's ridiculously bad. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna kill that dude. You can't forget about that. D does he not summon stuff? Or is it after the mutation? Is he summoning these bubbles there? I thought you summoned the other guys, the spam dudes, the, the easy ones, that you can just farm a lot of material with. Yeah. No? Am I confusing him? Oh yeah, there they are. There they are. Hardy, hardy, give me all the material. I hope they actually drop material. I don't know if they do, but I think they do. Oh my god, I love this boss so much. But like, I know with trophy you can get material from them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pretty. I, I think all you need is just a better start, where you get more attack speed, more crossbows. You do not buy the lens. Okay, don't be as stupid as I was. You do not buy the lens. That is really stupid. Um, but yeah. I think aside from that, it's it. There's not. Oh my god, this is my second coffee. I have set, I have like like no attack speed at all. I, on the level ups, I could also roll for it and be a little bit more aggressive about it. I'm always less aggressive on rolling on level ups when I know that I'm missing something. And looking at these weapons, I'm missing a lot of weapons. Okay, so that's the reason why I don't roll there a lot. That is actually huge, right? Yeah, that is huge. There's Brotsorten und Mobile. Yeah, there's, there's Brotsorten und Mobile, yes. <laughs> Kartoffelsorten. Yeah, Potatoes and Mobile for a while now. I was so excited when I received emails from Potato because they wanted me to cover something. And then they say, oh yeah, it's Mobile. And I'm like, I, I don't play Mobile games. The only Mobile game I played once was um, Magic, Magic Survival, right? But I, I think the reason why I did that is obvious, it's the origin of Vampire Survivors, so I had to play it. And I, I couldn't blame more than two videos because I, I hated it. And I don't play on my phone. I used to play a lot on my phone, but I wasted a huge amount of money and time on that, so I just stopped doing it. 
And now, like, after I took a longer break, I honestly can't look at the small display anymore. It, it just hurts my eyes if I do it too long. It's also funny when I sometimes write with people. And sometimes I'll write, like, ginormous messages, you know, and a lot, and const like, instantly write back when they write, and we have, like, a proper conversation. And then other times, they'll write me, and that I should have taken the range. No, I shouldn't have taken the range. There was 0 0.5 damage. That's one damage. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, and other times I write barely anything. It's like, are you okay? It's like, did I do something? I, I, no, no, you didn't do anything. I'm just on my phone now. And, like, if I have to type on my phone with my fingers, I hate, I hate... <coughs> ah, throat. I hate it. Uh, no. Absolutely hate it. I always write on computer in WhatsApp with the web, web version. Are you late? Um, I, I wouldn't say 19 is late. I mean, it's almost over. Uh, whether we survive or not will be another question, but yeah. The thing is, if this wasn't a first attempt, and if, like, it what wasn't obvious to me what went wrong, I think I would try it again and go for boss killing. But the problem is, I, I don't think it, there's a lot necessary to do this. I mean, we can do another run, sure. And then do included all the boss killing. But I, I don't know. I don't know. The sad part is I'll not reach level 25 now. That is how, like, little, uh, material I got in this entire run. I will die on the boss wave, I just realized. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Great. <laughs> really? As if I wouldn't have needed that uh, that movement speed, actually. So, I could actually sell a couple of weapons to buy this. <laughs> I'll not do it, but there's actually reason to do it. Dude, we have so much range, what? I didn't even really focus on range, wow. Oh, yeah, come because I paused, I walked into that. I think we did good enough. I think we did good enough to prove a point. No, I, d I don't think I have to go for another run, to be honest. Yeah. What? Oh! Oh, deine Mutter. Um, okay. Yeah, I, 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 well, I'll just die. Didn't I click not endless? Guys, just kill me. Yeah, my min. Did you play Kitty vs. Madness since it's released? Not yet, no. I have, I have so many, um, so many games I need to play. I, it's, it's so hard to catch up with. Why is there a heart flying through my screen? Stop that. Where's this coming from? What? I don't even have a chat. Well, nice, great. How how does this randomly happen? Wow, stop that hard! Stop it! What is that? Add reaction for Marula? But oh, there's nothing to it. Wait, where's this coming from? Why is that? Why is it? What? What is that? Stop it! <laughs> Talk, you sucker! Talk, you sucker! What are you doing? It may be the new YouTube feature. Wait, it's my OBS! It's not in YouTube! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. 
Um, do we do this again with boss killing? Let's do it again with boss killing, okay? Let's let's do it again with boss killing. But yeah, I have a bunch of um, high brazer. I have a bunch of things I want to do. Can I just die, please? I really hate going like quitting with the menu. Dude, how hard can it be to die? Jesus Christ. Ah, next wave is a boss wave. Okay. 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 Yeah, there we got the attack. Oh my. Sure. Shower mean crossbows now. Shower mean crossbows. Oh, you dingus. Oh, you dingus. You know? That is like. That is like. That is just like. That is just great. Okay, let's play as fast as we can. Now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. I'll just die here now, won't I? Now that I said I'll play as far as I can, I'll just die. <laughs> oh, let's actually kill the boss. Okay. Okay. I need to get to the other boss. Alter. Um, I think we could actually kill him if I fully focus on him. Dude, that damage though. <laughs> How is our first boss kill now? Well, before I cared more about surviving, right? So now it's like, yeah, if I die, I die. But it's hilarious. How much damage do we have now? 135. Yeah. That is plus 5 damage. But it's not a lot, is it? Yeah. Why do, wait, why do I have 111% damage? Oh! Okay. We are playing with Ranger. Good morning, mage. Let's just stand still and see how long we can survive. And only at the end of the round, I'll always walk around and gather everything. I think that's a fun idea. Sure, let's do that. Uh, you're pretty good at the game, but maybe the challenge is not as hard, but are you on difficulty 3 and above? No, I'm on danger 5. Well, which is three and above, yes. Hi, Drew. Welcome. I always play on Danger 5. There was a time where I didn't play on Danger 5. And some people that nowadays see the video are like, Oh, how could you play on Danger 0? Danger 5 is so easy. Danger 5 used to be very different. You used to get no... Like, do you guys remember that? The shop prices were insanely increased, the material you got was insanely decreased, and if you didn't just gamble, like, and got super lucky and got exactly the things that you needed, your run was over. And that is horrible if you want to make a YouTube video, right? You can forget about that. And that's why I didn't do it, because it was so frustrating that I was about to just drop potato. Do you have any phaser mints? What are phaser mints? That sounds like, like, you know, these things for the mouth. Mince. But Phaser sounds like Face Clan. I swear to God, if you say no, those are NFTs, I'm gonna slap you to another country. Dex doesn't understand MP. No, 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 no. Th that is not the thing. Danger 5 nowadays is a lot of fun. I it's a lot of fun. Danger 5 back then was hated by the community and including all content creators that I know because it's no fun. If you... There are several ways how you can make something more challenging and interesting, right? Just bumping up the HP of the bosses is not challenging and interesting, right? That is like one lazy mechanic a lot of developers use. Oh yeah, we, we, we gave you a DLC, it's the same monsters, but they have four times the HP. They have now eight times the HP. It's like, wow, great, good job, thank you that you exist, right? Totally useless. 
And that was a little bit what happened in Protato because it became stale, okay? It was really, really, really boring. It was no fun. Let's actually see if we can still kill the bosses now. I don't think so. Actually, well, wait, we are New Kingdom. Okay, like, okay, this weapon is busted. <laughs> wow. Wow. Like, okay, it, it scales super fast upright. Like, you need late game stuff, obviously. But like, okay, I can just get one shot here, by the way. Like, we don't have a lot of HP here. Oh, uh, I nullified. That means I got hit. Oh my god, okay. Like, listen, guys, listen. Uh, listen, 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 listen. I, I understand the appeal to hand type, but please don't tentacle me as much. That is maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, can I can I somehow kill this dude? Uh, dude, I, I, how much range do I even have? Where? Where? That was minus 2% attack speed, I think. B which is not, I think, but I don't remember the right number. Let's go for the range damage. Let's <laughs> We're still not done. <laughs> oh, that is... Um, okay. Since we never got the Retromation Hoodie, but I already have the crit, so it's 3 range damage. That is 1.5 damage multiplied with our damage, so that's like 4 damage, roughly. Eh. 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 Headaches when you ever try to mod it, uh... Oh yeah, re reroll cost was also increased. So it was really like either you get a perfect shop or the game is just over. It's it was so boring. I hated it. Like you always have to consider if, if the comment section is full of shitters then annoying you that you don't play on Danger 5 and a YouTuber still does it, there is a valid reason behind that. Because it's no fun to open the comment section and you have a bunch of people crying about something, you know? Because then I just don't read the comment section anymore and I always enjoy doing that. But like, it was just so annoying to make videos on Protato because you would just reset until you get a perfect run. And that meant the Danger 5 was not like an achievement goal, as in you, you unlock it and then you play on it as a challenge, but it was more like I play the game long enough until I get a perfect run and then I can show off that I beat Danger 5. Which in my opinion was just boring. Yeah, inflation rate, exactly. That's that, that's the problem. It was both. You had the... Hmm. Okay, that's actually not a complicated decision. I'll never get the Retromation hoodie, let's just take it. It was a mix of both, like the big problem was really that not only did the money go down that you got, but the costs in the shop went up super fast, right? So it was horrible. No fun. That's actually nice. Um, hey Dex, when you end, uh, ever try a modded run, try loud with the drill at a starting weapon. It's broken, got to wave, wave sex. Yeah, I have a few ideas. Um, I'll do some basic modding myself, but yeah. Protator was good for a short time and it was still a demo for me, was it? Now it's... No, I think right now it's at the best point it was ever. I think the demo was super lacking. Like, I think for what it was, a demo, it was fine. But now it's the most exciting one. Because, like, Protator now rewards you for knowing the game really well. But this also opens up opportunities where you can go for super greedy runs because, well, because you know the game really well, right? And I like that. I like that a lot. I don't like when a, like a game forces you into cookie cutter builds just to win. Have you ever played Asteroids? No. I don't know if you've gone through the Steam demo showcase, these two games like Survivor but 3D that look ridiculous. I don't know which one you're talking about there. Nova Drift is basically Asteroids 2. No Drift rings a bell, but I don't really know. Maslani, hi there. Have you ever done a single weapon for a uh, fist run and posted it? Yes. 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 The Fister. The Twister Fister. No, that, that wasn't the Twister Fister. That was the Crotch Fister. Here. I don't know if I'm even allowed to play my video for a moment, but I'll, I'll quickly show a moment. There. So, <laughs> He's a crotch fister. <laughs> this was like the very first video I uploaded on Protato where I called this crotch fister. <laughs>
This honestly must be one of my most idiotic ideas I've ever had. Nah, there were some things that were a lot more stupid than this. We'll play one arm and we are the- <laughs> He has a fist as a dick. <laughs> Watch, Fister. You're writing history today by winning this game only. I had to retake this so many times. I had to restart like five times. Because I, I couldn't I couldn't make a sentence. With one single fist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it was so hard to make that sentence. It was so hard to make that sentence. <laughs> what has my channel turned into? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a crotch fist, so there we go. A single fist beats potato. Oh my god, that was that was a great video. Oh, I loved that. I also hated it, but I loved it. That was just that was just amazing. Oh my god. <sighs> he died to the boss. What? What happened? How did you one having forty ish more seconds to go? No, I I, I died. The run one is because um so in the game you go to wave twenty and this is where you win if you beat the wave or if you survive the wave, but you can then go for endless. And endless means it just continues forever. So it's like in uh, Vampire Survivors, where if you hit minute 30 and the Reaper kills you, you still won the run, right? But you died. Um, so it's the same thing, pretty much. Um, what did I want to do? Oh, someone said I should play Speedy with the... with the Jousting Lands. Okay. Oh, let's do that. Chip, 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 chip. Oh, we wanted to do another run with the crossbow. To be honest, do we need another run with the crossbow? Like, towards the end, we have kind of seen what happens if you get the right stuff in time. And the main issue was if you go back and watch, like, the individual waves, especially the horde waves, I just didn't get um, enough attack speed early on. So with more attack speed, I would have gotten so much more material and so many more... things. How do you work? I need speed, right? Yeah. How bad would that be? That looks- that sounds horrible. I'll actually reset until I get, um, two Chousing Lances. Really? Maybe- I'm done with Falls of Torment. Uh, I, I don't really have something to do there. There are a few achievements left, but if I don't feel like playing something, I, I don't play it. And this is like a random start now because I'll I'll record uh, Vampire Survivors very soon. Today it's a limit break King Bible. That will be interesting, the King Bobble. Um yeah. Speed, shout perfect. Amazing. Even on a horde wave. Uh 18 boss is rough. This is perfect. Like he will be super weak. Another jousting lens, but I'll take the tree. I played speedy with Lance and got more like, uh, got like 70 more speed. Okay, wait, when you say 70 more speed, what was the stat? Because if you say a number is like 70, I will think it's 70 and then that's my goal. Hi, Sambor. Halls of Torment doesn't have much depth to it, it's fine, but no longer. Yeah. Halls of Torment is a complicated case for me because, I'll be honest, how do I say this in a not bad way? I have covered many games that I would call low effort that had more effort in them than Halls of Torment. Okay, and if the developer sees this, I don't mean this bad. Okay, but if you just look at the entire game, and if you look at what it's based on and what was already available to know how to do that, there's not a lot that happened, okay? I'm not even sure how Halls of Torment popped up. The thing is, I can play even like the worst games and still have fun with it, unless it's so bugged that I literally I die because of it. Which is a problem right now for me with Sea of Survivors. I've done like five additional recordings and every single time I died, because my bullets that I shoot out in a bullet build got hit by enemy bullets, okay? And I died because of that. Which is not great. Like, if you shoot out bullets, the enemy bullets hitting your bullets shouldn't kill you, obviously. It did, because it's a bug, okay? And 
but things like this, okay, that was a unique case because I think it has to do that I had certain items, item combinations, and that led to this, okay? That's that's a different story. But with Falls of Torment, I, I don't know. I don't think it's a bad game, okay? I think it's fun, but I think it it's not in any way, shape, or form special, okay? I personally don't find Falls of Torment fun. No, I think it's fun. I, I think it has potential, but we are right now... Like, the game right now has 5% or 10% at most, what I expect it to be. And that needs to ramp up quickly. Like, one of the main things that I really complain about nowadays is interfaces, okay? You have Vampire Survivors already as bases, so you can copy most of the stuff and then change it up with your own ideas and make it unique, but improve on the things that weren't there. Or take the things that are already there. And not having a proper interface that explains stuff is really bothering me so much. Because games just expect that you try out as like a, a super duper long time um, until you magically figure everything out. And I'm like, no, why? Wait, that's stupid. Don't do that. Why hide how something works if you could literally just give it a pop-up window, like a tool to, uh, tip? Even in Vampire Survivors, this really bothers me until today that Limit Break is still not visible in the game. That you can't see what type of limit break stats you have so far. Why? Why does this take so long? And the only thing that I understand where I say, okay, that is reasonable, is when they say, we keep that for DLCs, that people are more encouraged to buy them, you know? Then I'm like, okay, okay, I can see that. That, that is understandable. But like, please, it's been like two years. Well, one and a half years. Please. <laughs> Please! Uh, more speed. How much- wait, what did he say? How much speed? Yeah, speed set more than 70. Well, we are 63, we are on wave 5. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go bonkers! Let's go bonkers! 70. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I, I am not allowed to stand still, right? Okay. Wait, what happens if I stand still? Six minus 67 damage. Oh wow. How am I still killing? Oh. Don't stand still, guys. Don't stand still. <laughs> now don't die, Lord. <laughs> I shouldn't have stood still. I kind of wanted to see if we can do it standing still, but yeah, I shouldn't have stood still. That, that was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Don't worry, we'll do it again. We, we get there. Ah, oh, man, I hate that I noticed that there, but if I wouldn't have noticed it, I would have stood still randomly either way. Uh, okay, sure. Sure. No. Uh, one more rule or reset. Perfect. Oh, how did he die so fast? I have no armor, I had 23 HP and a strong enemy hit me. Ranger crossbow only run, that was the last run. I'm too lazy to change the title. How much extra damage is minus 100 armor? It's like 89, uh, 98%. Uh, 89% or so. Uh, we can check it out. Wait, do I get minus 100? Oh! Oh, yeah! Okay, that makes sense. Wow. 87%. Oh, wow, you really don't want to stand still. Oh, that's bad. Because that means while reading chat, I have to move around. Okay, sure. What do you think is the worst character weapon you want to try in a possible run? Um, uh, for me personally, I th so the problem is it depends on how you play the game because if you are freely allowed to buy anything, I think the worst one is for me personally the farmer with only hands. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was speed. Yeah, I would say so. Hmm. 
True True Survivor? Yeah, I actually plan to play that today. I keep getting... Uh, lately, I've gotten so many comments on what games I should play. I was like, what's going on? Usually, it's one one per week, you know? Maybe at most. And now, it's like like three in a single day. And that like every day. I'm like, okay, great. That's, that's amazing. But yeah, Choo Choo Survivor, I'll check out. There's also one that is constantly said like death is is something, death is pain or so, something. I noticed I have it installed, funny enough, but I totally forgot about it. So yeah, um, I'll play that as well. Well. Uh, it doesn't even make sense to scale up melee damage, right? Not really. There's a crossbow. Death must die. Uh, let me see. Death must die demo, yeah. Plans for souls and survivors. Um... for you to write now, which doesn't mean there will be nothing, um, but it's a lot. Like whenever I have a lot on my interpretation mark schedule, which is like my plan of, of possibilities, it's really hard to get into a game that has so much content in it, because there is a lot, you know, and, and time is, yeah. I really need to get an editor, but I, I don't want to, but I really should, because it, it, it just takes so much time to edit stuff. Like, that's the main reason why I can't do more. Okay, like, like, dude, okay, I mean, okay, you made up for it, uh, we buy that. I, I really, I really gotta see if I, how much I do with Soulstone Survivors. I gotta check if they maybe have... How did I just... I just took so much damage because I turned, didn't I? Because at the bottom here, I turned around. And that's why I took so much damage, right? Because in the, the split second, I had minus 100 armor. Are you kidding me? Right? Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to make sure to always press at least one key. Jesus. Okay, nice. What was the game name? It was Black Dark and it was like vampires and it was super pixelated and it had witches in it. Do you mean uh, 20 minutes to dawn? Um, That is a lot of melee damage. Yeah, I'll just take it. What am I look? Oh, speed. I have to look out for speed. Very important. Jeez, Louise. Sure. There's no limit to these. What? Okay. Sure. Sure. Don't limit them. Limit everything else, but don't limit that. Sure. Sure. Reasonable. Reasonable. Twenty minutes to dawn is way more colorful. Ah, uh, do you mean magic survival? That was really dark. In a mobile game. Yes, I use the manual targeting. The thing is, I, I rarely ever touch my mouse. Like, I only do it after the waves. The most... The thing is, I don't mind that you can't stop moving, but I think the game should be a little bit forgiving. That you have, like, a 0 0.5 second, 1 second, like, waiting time before... The penalty kicks in because if I go to the right and then go to the left right I have like a super short moment where I don't hold a mouse button Okay, I'll just take it whatever. Let's just go for the speed. I don't care uh, Well, there was speed. Yeah, man. I don't want negative luck. I want positive luck Is moving pressing key. it's pressing key Like you need to hold down a key and if you walk to the left and then to the right and there's like a short break in between. 
I like you you have the negative damage. I I I wished I had the mod installed where you can always see your stats, but I think I'm pretty sure it would show it that you go down. Maybe not, maybe not, it's not the case. Maybe I just took that much damage from that one simple dude. But I took like what 16, 15 damage there. That, that, like, that, look at this, I took only 9 damage from the big boy here. Yeah, I definitely got the damage reduction, the, like the negative 100 armor. But like, otherwise it doesn't make any sense that I took so much damage. Uh, that, yeah, but you can do it like on their own for soldier, right? Like, you can do it differently with soldier. You don't have to make it forgiving for soldier. You can do this as a per character thing. Crit, dodge, range, sure. Speed, ach. Yeah, that's actually good. That's bait. I have no percent damage. I have to be so careful to always keep walking. Do I just like circle them all the time? Like this? That way I always... Jesus Christ. Boah, boah, my eyes. Oh, my brain. That's too fast for me. I have to squint my eyes to not get a headache here. Oh, that's way too fast. I'm, st I'm too tired for this. There's actually something really annoying going on. I'm... 150% motivated to make YouTube videos. Like, I would even be up to make three videos a day just to cover the additional games that I want to cover. But I'm so tired. Like, my sleep is so poor. It's insane. It really annoys me. Like, I go back to sleep, like, like three times a day nowadays. Like, you know, I take a nap, and then I usually take a nap, like, another one at 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and then I sleep over the night. It has, it has gotten so annoying because I'm like all in. I'm like, yes, let's go YouTube videos, everything. And then I, and I do it. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm falling asleep. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I hate it because when I'm motivated and want to do something, I really want to do it. That's just good. Yeah. Hi, Daniel. Welcome. Sleeping regime. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't look over the chat. Not while I'm so squishy. Jesus Christ! Why are you so fast? C can you not like? Okay. How about there's an option in the in the option menu that if you have a lot of speed, you can also alternatively just slow down the game. Like the character moves at normal speed, <laughs> but the game gets slowed down. Oh my God! That would be an amazing character. Well, would it be... Uh, the, the rounds would last way too long, so the timer would need to go as normal, which means you get less material, right? Actually, no. Oh, that could be so interesting. The more speed you have, the more the time slows down. Like, the enemies get minus movement speed. Yeah, that would actually be super simple to implement, right? But it would also need to reduce how often they attack, how fast they attack. Oh, that could be an interesting character. That would be so stupid. Because then you actively have to try to collect everything in time. Otherwise, it just, like, you don't get it, right? Because the enemies don't move towards you, really. Okay, um, let's buy a little bit of armor, though. Because I'm, I'm, I re Yes! <laughs> uh, bootyful. Bootyful, bootyful, bootyful. You created a glass cannon. You see the nice part about potato is, you are glass cannon until you hit the right stop and suddenly you have 20 armor. <laughs> well, but I'm moving way too fast for this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I need. Uh, actually, if I get enough attack speed, I don't care about the movement speed. That could also work. Right, right now I have to like move very carefully that I don't run right into enemies, which also means I change directions too much. And if I get hit in that moment, I take so much damage from the enemies. Oh my god, we just one shot that dude. Yeah, I need attack speed. I need attack speed. I think attack speed is my most valued stat in this entire game. It's so difficult to always have one finger on a uh, on a direction key. Uh, sure. 
Uh, no. And movement speed. And Peacock. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, 50% bonus. De oh, Dex, you idiot. Can't you just think for a moment before you do it? Like, just, just a second. Just, like, take a moment and think what you're about to do. And then still do it. Okay, sure. <laughs> speed. Minus crit. That's still speed. That would have been insane. <sighs> okay, I need a moment. Oh my god. Okay, so, we have no HP, we have no armor, we have no dodge, we take 50% more damage on the enemy wave, we have 100% speed, which means it's almost impossible to control my character, and as far as I know my luck, we are probably fighting the boss that I hate the most. Please don't beat, please be the circler. Um... Uh, uh. <sighs> okay, uh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, ch just summon, summon, summon more, summon more, I don't care. Do they actually give material? If they do, then I don't want to kill the boss. Oh my god, I see so many and I want to kill them so badly for money. I want to kill them. Here! I don't want to kill the boss yet. I don't want to kill the boss yet. Later, yes. Actually, I have to rush, right? Because if something goes wrong and I take a lot of damage, I can't kill them anymore. Oh my god, he's summoning so much. Dude, like, okay, how much do you actually want to summon? Like, how much? <laughs> dude, wait a second. Wait a second, that dude is better than any horde wave. Nice melee damage, by the way. That dude is better than any horde wave. That is ridiculous how much he just summoned. I love that. Dude, that is a money maker. Jesus Christ. And you also get a red item for killing him. That is just insane. Okay. Uh, if you keep walking into a wall, e yes, it works. You still get it. Yeah, the knife on the boss will be- yeah, Material Knife, uh, Ghost Flint, both of those are insane on the boss because you can also control to not hit him, right? Like, a ranged damage would eventually kill him, probably. Or you would just die. Um, oh my god, two hot waves, really. That's... kind of good. You remember Bone Razor Minion? Yeah, yeah, I do. There was once a time where I had a plan to play it again, but that plan was in the past. <laughs> there are a lot of abandoned games, like for example as well Holocure. But Holocure will have an update very soon, and I plan to play all the new characters there in time this time. It was a not so great time, okay? There were some issues. So that was the reason why I stopped. It had nothing to do with the game. Um, but yeah, I'll play all the new characters, and after I'm done with that, I will just play the rest of the characters that I haven't played yet. I can just stand still, right? Because you have so much damage, yeah. The thing is, we had a free round there, okay? On the boss. I had bonus experience, we got a ginormous amount of kills, we would have had like 600-700 material. And I could have just circled him, there was no need to run into him, but I really wanted to have the chest. Because there are some amazing items that you can get. Wow. Is that good? Two chests, way four. What, what else could I have gotten? I could have gotten three uh, lances. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. Depends what's in here. What would even be worth it? A Kupal, maybe? I don't think that's worth it. It must be better. What is better than a Kupal? Trees? Trees are definitely good. Uh, blue item. What? Generator? Can you get generator on four? No, I think five is purple items. Right? Ah, uh, I'm not too sure. No, four is purple items. Three, uh, two percent chance. One point five percent chance. Okay, that's good. 
Nah, sure. <laughs> I got two speed items as this character. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Out of all the things that I could have gotten. No, it's fine. What happened to Rokanese? Yeah, we were done with it. Whenever I'm done with a game, it's really hard to get back into it because the only real way I get back into it is when people write comments or if the developer reaches out to me and says, hey, we had an update and it has to fit the schedule at that time and I have to find a way to make multiple videos on the game. I don't like playing a game just for one video to check out an update. I hate that because it's so boring. Like the way if, if you do multiple games, the way it works is you can't just make one game and people will just watch the video. You need to make multiple videos on it and then eventually people will catch on to it and say, oh wow, I actually really like that. And then they go back watching all the videos, right? So the less videos you can do on a game, the worse it is for you to cover it. Okay, I'll actually take the luck there. Rogue Inesia, I had a huge amount of fun in the game with the um, uh, world record thingies in there. Like a ginormous amount of fun. But the thing, I don't even know, Rogue Inesia never really popped off and I think the main reason could be that it's just, it takes so long to play through the campaign. And the campaign was for me the most fun part about it, but it takes so long. Like, a normal recording would easily take me one and a half hours there. What happened to Sexy Mystic Survivors? The developer actually contacted me because they made a new game and I wanted to check that out and I completely forgot about it. Oh, I gotta do that. And this time without nudity though. Um, Sexy Mystic Survivors, I think, like, it got some, actually, like, straight up amazing updates, like, really amazing ones that I enjoyed a lot. I think the real issue with Sexy Mystic Survivors was, and including Beautiful Mystic Survivors, because I don't care about the nudity part, um... It wasn't pleasant on the eyes. So... What I mean by that is, if you look at the game for too long, it hurts your eyes. Because it's so overly saturated and the graphics sometimes don't align with each other. That it's really, like that was my main difficulty at least. The rest of the game honestly was fine. You had evolutions, you had an interesting concept. The waves felt a little bit dull. Like there was something special missing, but with the updates they added so many interesting things. Like especially the permanent uh, stat, stat increases for the run and stuff like this. Where you collect the potions. I had so much fun with that, okay? I absolutely loved and adored it. Why did I do that? That was pointless. Um, but it was just... I think the real thing that held it back were the graphics because you, I, I couldn't stand playing it for all too long. And I had periods where I played it for 8 hours straight to farm up gold and get all the upgrades. Slow progression curve. It's it, it's definitely not in my bottom list, you know, of like how I would rate games. Um, I would even say it is above Halls of Torment. Uh, would I say that? They kind of both have the same issues. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, Sexy Mystic Survivors has more interesting characters. And I, I don't even mean what like that their boobs are bouncing, but um, the unique things to them, the bonuses, is way more interesting. Yeah. But like, okay, so the, the, the thing is, when you have to grind, there are games that make it right, and I need to play uh, Spirit Hordes, uh, Spirit Infinite, what is the name? Because they had a huge update and apparently they changed a lot. What is it? What's it called? Spirit Hunters, right? Yeah, Spirit Hunters. Yeah, I, I need infinite hordes. I need to play that. Dude, they had a 140 megabyte update. Jesus Christ. I really... So... 
The compare Soulstone Survivors and Infinite Hunters before it had the update now, right? Soulstone Survivors did everything right in regards to farming, okay? A lot of fun. It's, um, oh my god. <laughs> I'm just cheating. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun and it's interesting to farm in there because you slowly progress, but alongside the way you unlock stuff. In, um, oh my god, I suck with names. In Spirit Hunters, it, were, it felt more like you unlock a lot of fun stuff and then it turned into a grindy mobile game where you just, like, usually start spending money because it's so boring, but there you couldn't spend money. So you just had to do the same run, like, five times in a row to get one upgrade. It's like, well... Wow, wow! I rarely stop grinding because I do enjoy the, enjoy a good grind, but there I stopped because it wasn't worth the time. Not because of the game on my own, but as a you know as a YouTube project. Pocket Factory being limited to one makes me sad. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> You know, it's actually really funny when I think about modding ideas or video ideas and someone mentions that. That is a, that is exactly something I was thinking about. To increase that to maybe five. Um, yeah, that you can get a total of five. But I wanted to do a, like a safety thing in there. Like if you don't get one every five levels, you automatically just get one. So at 20, you always have five. But you can get them earlier, you know. And then every every tree that you do... Oh, wow, nice. Now we don't have crit. Every tree that you destroy is a lot of turrets. That was speed. I should have taken that. Actually, no. I am... I have to be careful. That's so much damage. That's not worth it. I have no... Okay, do you get minus HP? No. Well, I just really suck at picking up HP, man. Usually, I'm I'm very good at it. Like, without noticing it, I just suddenly have 50 HP, and I'm like, what happened there? But on this character, I don't know what it is. Whenever I look at my HP, it's a 20. But, uh, usually, that's not a problem, right? On Ranger, it's not a problem. We can sh still kill the enemies. But here, the real issue is that I randomly walk into enemies. But I don't want to. The turrets give life no, no life steal. Sadly, they also can't crit. I need to get the one where if I pick up material, I have a chance to heal. I think I think that's really important. Dude, I have to wiggle around so much to not get hit. My head starts hurting. Like no joke, this is a little bit annoying. <laughs> I'm not saying the character should be changed, I'm saying for me right now, that was bad. I'm saying for me right now, it's a bad position to play this. Alter. Uh, what games did you play before Vampire Survivors and all the games you, that's... Um, Kenshi, Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Rise, uh, Kingdoms Reborn, I think was the name of the game, or King Kings and Castles or so was the name. Uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds, I streamed, and Stardew Valley, I streamed, yeah. Minecraft was also in there, oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. I have to focus for a moment. I need to get to the food there, and it's a little bit difficult to keep walking all the time. I guess I could also just stand still, right? Because we have so much damage, there's no way they can kill me. Yeah, we have 100 damage with, like, the strikes. There's no reason to really move around, except for dodging. Oh, let's. Nice. Limited to four with each item upgrading the turret. The thing is, I don't really know how the item works. You know, that you get to upgrade it. Great. Sure. Oh boy.
was looking for crossbow run, you gotta go to the beginning of the video. Once you've mentioned that you played Oxygen not included at some point. Yes, but I don't think I played it on stream. The games that I just listed were on stream. No, I honestly think it would be great if you could upgrade the turrets that spawn out of it. But let's be honest, if you get an explosive turret out of every single tree, that could be a little bit broken. J just a little bit. Because the base damage of the... I'm dead. I won't make this. The base damage of the turret is already so high, it's ridiculous. And even worse, if you have a ton of trees and so many fire turrets, your game will lag out. Like, it's actually ridiculous how badly it makes the game lag. Because usually you don't go for a lot of engineering, right? Um, and that means it deals zero damage. It either, either way it deals zero damage, right? It has like 1% damage scaling, I think, the initial hit. Only the burning does more damage. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, if they could just strike a little bit more like how I want them to strike, which means I should aim manually, but I don't want to aim manually because I'm lazy. That was a lot of material, though. Um... Yeah, exa exactly. These are cross balls. We evolved. We went from the crossbow to the cross balls. Uh, YouTube doesn't allow you to um, go back and forth in streams anymore, right? Another one of those, no one asked for that and everyone hates it changes. Thank you, YouTube. I, I absolutely hate the change. Because I started enjoying watching live streams a lot on YouTube. And now it's like, oh yeah, I want to re like rewatch something because I often have them on my second monitor. And then I hear about something that happened and I want to see it because I couldn't see it since I, I'm playing my own game, right? And I'm like, oh yeah, you, ca you can't go back. Wow. F you. Thank you too. Thank you that you appreci ma appreciate me watching your platform. And it's like, wow, great. I don't even know why they did that. That like maybe if there is, is like a mistake that happens, like a nip slip or whatever you could happen or so, that people can't just go back and clip it or so. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand it. You can on the stream. Maybe it's a beta testing what they do then, that for some you can't, for others you can. Or maybe they change it again, that you can do it again. But the last time I tried, I couldn't. That's bad, we take so much damage. Is that worth it? I think that's worth it. I have like no luck either way, so I don't care about getting more luck right now. I wish I could, but yeah, I don't care. I'll just get HP and HP regeneration there. I, you can do it, Vanced. Yeah, I don't like Vanced. It depends on the content creator, I think you can change it. I can change it? I, I've, I've not even done anything. I, and I don't think people intentionally do that. I don't see a reason why people would do that. Like, I think they just did it for some channels. Because they often do A-B testing. That for some, like, for some they do it, for some they don't. Like, uh, if you go to the YouTube subreddit, on Reddit, you will see a ton where people say, oh yeah, this is back. Like, for example, the oldest tab, right? You can, like, uh, sort a channel again by the oldest videos. And... Uh, for a while this was possible for some people and for some people not. I would love to see Dex play heavily modded RimWorld. Um, we can do that one day. Uh, well, I gotta sort out the mods because I had like 400, 500. I think I had way less because I sorted them out already and had like 150 left. Um, but yeah, I love RimWorld. Slowing down the enemies, we did so much damage we don't need that. For bosses it could be nice. Five hundred sixty mods. Yeah, that is just a RimWorld experience. It's always funny when you like talk to people from other games, and they are like, "Oh my god, I'm addicted to mods. I have like seven mods installed." And you're like, "Okay, so like this is page one to one hundred. This is page uh, one hundred to two hundred. This is page two hundred to three hundred." <laughs> oh, and what do the mods do that you use? I have no idea. Wait, wait, that, that, that. So this adds, this adds, um, this adds elephants. This adds elephants with laser guns. This adds elephants with laser guns riding on camels. Why do you need that? Well, that, uh, why do you ask me if I need that? There will be a day where I need that. Then I will be happy that I have it. Okay. <laughs> That's how RimWorld works. 
there's so many mods that you install just like for the option to use them. And then people wonder why the game crashes. Can someone give me a timestamp of the mentioned nipple slip? Which mention it? What? There was no nipple slip. <laughs> uh. Chosting lines. I have to be so careful because I'm becoming more and more comfortable right now. And what always happens is I stand still and I will forget that I get my NS100 armor. Like, this will be deadly. I will die. Where can I find mods? You just go to Steam Workshop. There are all the Rimbrook mods. And then you filter by subscribe the most and you need to make sure that it's on the current version. And then you just download the first 50 pages. Then there are obviously the furries that install the fox girls. Though to be fair, some of them, like, they, they look good. Um, and, and stuff like, you can make slime girls. You can make, there are a lot of visual changing. I even made a mod myself where I had a fairy tribe. Um, though that was, that was not for myself. That was for my girlfriend at the time because she really wanted to, like, um, we, we would often share what I play and she would decide who I accept or deny into our colony, which was a fun way of playing it together, you know? She still had, like, you can't play it where you can play it together, but not in that way. And, like, she was having impact by telling me whether she wanted someone in our colony or not. And she really wanted me to play fairies, that she is a fairy in the game. Um, so I made a mod, and th th they actually look really good. Um, sure, boss fight. I will die. Oh, the fly squatter. That will be interesting, because he's kind of easy. What the hell? He didn't even get to attack once in the beginning. <laughs> you know what? I would watch the original first ever video upload to YouTube, the original channel. Ah... Uh, uh, that would probably just be like a couple of seconds, right, at that time. I don't think that would be interesting. Like, if you mean the very first video ever uploaded to YouTube. Elephant in the zoo, yeah, exactly. I, 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 don't, I don't think that's all too special. In general, I don't share the s uh, same sentiment some people have that YouTube used to be better. There's always a nostalgia effect, obviously, where you're like, oh my god, I watched that back then, so now I love it. Um, this often happens. But I think YouTube was utter trash back then. Like, don't get me wrong, it was exactly the right thing when you have no, like, nothing to do in this moment and you just go online and go to YouTube. It was the Wild Western back then, the internet, right? You find everything on there. You'll find a tutorial on how to cook, like, cook a, I don't know, a cake, how to behead someone, how to, uh, uh, I don't know, cheat on your partner without them finding out, whatever, there was everything, right? Like, that's the point that I'm trying to make. And it was uncontrolled entirely. But at the same time, okay, the quality was also all over the place. <laughs> Especially when people say the quality on YouTube has decreased over time, I'm like, dude, are we living in a different time period? Because, like, YouTube was utter trash. <laughs> it had the laziest content on YouTube, literally just record your game and upload it without any cuts or anything. Like, you had uncut, pure content. And don't get me wrong, I love parts of that, and I do enjoy that sometimes, but it was the entire content on YouTube was like that. Someone would record for 8 hours, cut it up into 8 different parts, and upload 8 1-hour videos. And again, like, I, for example, Gronk, okay, that's a German YouTuber. I watched the living hell out of him, okay? Because it was a lot of fun to watch that, but talking about creativity or effort or stuff like this, it's near zero. It's near zero. And I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that my effort that I put into my videos is that much higher. Like, obviously, I can't just, you know, um, have the comfort of, up, like, just cutting the video and uploading it. That would save me around four to six hours a day if I would do that. That would be great. But it's, uh, it's not that I have super special effects and stuff like that. Scientific side of YouTube, that is fuck now. Um, why? I, I haven't noticed that. And I wouldn't agree on that. Why do you say that? 
You have passed the point speed some glass cannon anymore? Yes. We got the 20 armor. Wait, what? Negative. Oh, what? 17? Wait, why does it... Oh, it's 17, yeah. That was weird. 17 is decent. 77 HP as well. The uh, the level is sad. I needed more upgrades to experience early on because you really want to... How did I just take so much damage? Oh my god, I changed directions, didn't I? Like, not in the right way. Yeah, oh my god. I took. I must have taken like 20 damage there. Or maybe I got multi-hit. That could also be. Oh wow. Long form content was alright. I used to watch a ton of. No, don't get me wrong. I'm. I honestly didn't think I would die here. <laughs> so I was just looking at the comments. <laughs> oh, the melee damage sucked. Oh, it's one off. No, like, there was no. There, I, I'm not saying there is a problem with long form comment, right? Because it dominated all over YouTube. It was amazing. But what I say is when people say YouTube used to be so much better. And now it's just spam or stuff like this and something like, no, they, that's that's simply not true. The effort scale on YouTube and the quality scale of YouTube has absolutely exploded. Which long range weapon is the best in your mind, Shuriken? It's not even close. Shuriken is by far the best weapon in this game. I've played so much now with... Okay, let's actually just, let's make a case about that. Um... Kurz gesagt is amazing, yes. But there are more, like right, right, like Resource is still making videos, a lot of videos. There are a bunch of um, scientific videos. But like obviously, it, it, the thing is, it's really hard to maintain an income with scientific videos because they take a lot of work and they are usually short, relatively short. So, but I wouldn't say they are dead because of that. I would just say that it's not worth for everyone to do it. Dude, we have an amazing start. Uh, that one character bottom row feels left out. He hasn't been Danger 5 yet. Oh, I will... He will just be the next video. Whenever you watch my live streams, you'll see that there are a few characters left, and it's exactly the characters I haven't uploaded a video on yet. Okay, we have a horrible start. I needed more shurikens. You can start with shur uh, four shurikens, but... Oh my god, no. That's a bad start. You can start with four shurikens, by the way. Yeah, this is horrible. Usually on this wave here, you want to have like four shurikens at least, because you will get overwhelmed once the brown dudes start spawning. They are super tanky. So I don't expect to actually win this now. There's a high chance that I'll just die. And there we go. The other thing is, if I just lose a huge amount of materials, that's also not great. Because that's the money that I need to buy the shurikens and everything. Yeah, look at this. Like, all of this material, just sitting there. That's why I like to restart in moments like this. That's 2% uh, damage. That's not worth it. I mainly need to get more shurikens. Oh my god, that was amazing. Run is safe. Why am I so slow? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a snail now. <laughs> How much speed did we even have on, on, on the Lance guy? 120% at the end, right? It, it was stupid. I shouldn't have... Lo I looked like the entire run long. Like in the wave at, at comments all the time. That was a little bit too much. I shouldn't have done that. But like when, when I get to a point where I don't see myself dying, I lose interest in continuing the run. And this is why in some of my videos, when I sound very different after a cut, what actually happened there is I took a break. Like a 30 to 60 minute break, I was just doing other stuff. And then I went back at it. Which is why sometimes when I say I want to do this and that, and then I don't do it, that is actually the reason behind it. Because I literally forgot about it. Because it was for like one hour ago, <laughs> you know? <laughs> that is the main reason. Also, talking about the strongest weapon in the game, um, Slingshot is definitely a tight first spot for me, if not even the first one. Shuriken is weaker before it gets to the red levels, but at red levels it's way stronger than the slingshot. 
which really surprised me. Like, if you go to the wiki and you check out the DPS calculations, Slingshot is better on white, blue, and uh, purple tier, right? Tier 1 to 3. But on tier 4, this Shuriken is so much stronger. It's ridiculous how much it scales up. Okay, the good thing is we have all the shurikens. That means max crits. Oh my god, okay, you really want to hate me right now. Oh my god. Oh, that's disgusting. 4 melee damage and 10 harvesting, is it worth it? I think it is. <sighs> Not really. That's okay, it's fine. If you lose me, switch. Why? Don't stop asking about other games. Like, if I play other games, I'll play it. Especially when I talk about not, like, covering a game on YouTube, then I, I, I won't cover it. Like, Souls and Survivors, as I said, it, it will be a difficult game if, whether I know or not, I do more videos on it. But, like, I, I literally only started the stream to do something because I was asked to do something, and I was too tired to make a video. And I actually have to get going with Vampire Survivors, so probably after this run I'll go to recording. I'm playing Renegade, should I try and increase percent damage? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I think that's one of the main ways how to win with him, to increase that. That's 8% damage and 80 range. 80 range is a lot. That shouldn't be underestimated. Capping speed, how bad is that? I don't really care about that. And it's cheap. It's really cheap. It's ridiculously cheap. Sure. Sure. Alright, Chappy. Enjoy. Will you continue to the life? Um, probably, possibly, or I will just... Uh, or I will just restart the reset. Could also be... I need a time period where I have more time available to me, and I could just do multiple streams, like in a week, I mean. But yeah, speed cap at zero. Ah, uh, speed cap at zero is fine. Though I still feel like I'm a snail. I usually don't increase my speed either way. Like, if it randomly happens, it randomly happens, but I don't intend to ever increase it beyond zero. Speed zero is horrifying for the charging boss. Yeah, but like sometimes you just have to accept that you'll die. <laughs> Welcome to Switzerland. Ah, yeah, sure. Let's get a little bit. If, if the game offers it to me like that, then I'll just take it. So you have 88% crit. We are getting to like... Okay, so the problem is right now my shurikens are really bad. Just for comparison's sake, when I try to make a video on shurikens, my goal is on wave 5, I have 6 shurikens and 3 of those are blue. So, 3 waves ago, I already have 2 more blue shurikens than right now. But do you see even on this low level how they deal with the enemies? Isn't this ridiculous? Like, how... We could have gotten just, like... So, normally you would expect you have already 1 or 2 purple ones, okay? They bounce more, they have better scaling. And we have, like, a horrible weapon pool right now, and they still deal with the enemies, as in they kill them. The worst thing that can happen to you is that you don't kill the enemies, you don't end up with material. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we have an easy time right now, but we are killing all of them. Like, they are not building up to a degree where we just don't get the material. Okay, now they kinda do. But towards the end of the wave, that's fine. <clears throat> Bounce Pierce is overpowered early game. I also think it's overpowered end game. I think there's no moment where it's not overpowered. Um, attack speed is actually huge. Well. Well, don't mind me if I do. Don't mind. Look at this damage. Look at this. 20 times 4 damage. So 80 damage because the initial hit, right? And then 4 bounces. Uh, 3 bounces. And wait until... Should I just combine to red one? No, I calculated that. It's not worth it. Um, but yeah, okay, well, like, okay, this wave will be ridiculously easy. It should, hopefully. If not, then we have a big problem. We are still behind in weapons, believe it or not. Like, we're actually still behind. Usually, at this point, you would have two purple ones, and the rest is all blue. But do you see how easy it is? This weapon is so free. Okay, 
Okay, now it's complicated. Oh, we're just missing a tiny bit of better weapons. Just a tiny bit. Actually, I think we are just right. Oh. Huh. Interesting. One purple, two blue. Hmm. Well, I guess we got decent upgrades, right? The plus 80 range is insane. Because that means I can hit them from further away, which means I need a little bit less damage, since they get hit earlier. Which doesn't help if we get swarmed, that's true. But, um, no, it seems to be fine. Okay, okay. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Crit. Uh, that is actually overkill. The only way how I really lose this run now is when I don't pay attention because I'm reading too much of chat. We have over 100% crit with even the weakest one. Okay, and I have 16 HP. Even Shredder gets nerfed damage on Pierce. Does Shredder even Pierce? Doesn't it just explode? But um, most weapons should have a 50% nerf on Pierce. The only one that I know that doesn't have one is Crossbow, but because you need to crit, right, to, to Pierce. So it's, it makes sense. Hi, Fennequiz. Just gotta complain you're behind on weapons and you get like four upgrades. Dex, oh, Dex, stop reading the comments too much, man. I don't have the HP to afford that. The, the thing is, the problem is not reading. The problem is that I just stay in chat and I read every single comment, you know. On 16 HP, I shouldn't do that. But at the same time, if you can do that with 16 HP, then you know how good the shurikens are. Like, I was blown away how strong they are. It's it's such a free game if you have them. Oh, 45 range, 12% damage. We don't have a lot of damage, I'll take that. Well, don't mind me if I get all of these. Minus 1.2% damage. Sure. Don't care. Perfect. Negative 8 luck. Okay, what's going on? Usually I have a huge amount of luck, but like in this stream, I, I didn't get a lot of luck at all. Hi, Andrew. Shred and Crossbow don't fall, uh, have fall off because they pierce base level. Okay. Dex, how can we slap? How can she slap? Huh? Listen, listen, you, you you gotta clarify what you order and what you pay, okay? I, I can't do that for you. <laughs> oh, Drew. Good night there. Good night. You want a hunting trophy? I mean, listen, if it's up to me, I would always want to have 50 hunting trophies. But I have to wait until the game provides me one. That's the sad part. I want a lot, but tell the game that. <laughs> I want to have the crit coin, the lucky coin, you know. We would get 200% luck here. J uh, well, okay, not that much, but like almost. Well, that's luck. Sure. How bad could it be, right? How bad could it really be? <laughs> oh, nice. More enemies. Yeah, that's that's a great idea, thanks. That's so cheap. Oh my god. Doesn't matter when I buy this, but this will be good. Oh, oh wow. Okay, okay, that's evil. Oh, that will actually con completely kill my bounces. Oh no. Oh wow. Um, Because my bounces will just go into the stuff that he spawns, and that means other enemies will charge into me and kill me. Um, There is like a zero way that I do this right. Um... Don't blink, Dex. Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. <laughs> I heard that before. Okay. Okay. Ouch. Yep. Okay. And the, the funny part was I blinked right before that. Um, that is an evil boss. Yeah, maybe maybe reducing my armor by three right before the boss fight and increasing the, the um, enemy amount by a lot was a little bit too greedy. What do you think? On 21 HP. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, but the point being, okay, the shurikens are overpowered. Um, let's actually, let's, okay, let's go for an overpowered run where we start with four shurikens. Just to show what I mean. I mean, I think the showcase was already there. 
Me being stupid doesn't mean the stuff is bad. Me being stupid just means I'm stupid, okay? What I should have gotten is um, the HP regeneration with the lure and not the bait, uh, the plus 10% enemies. Um, okay, so this is something where I would already restart because I would want to have attack speed or crit here. We'll keep going. Ach, then, nah. Um, yeah, so now you would reset because you can't get four shurikens anymore. I'll be fine with three. Well, actually, we can get them. Oh, yeah, perfect. I, I thought they cost 17 for some reason. Do you see the difference? Before we had two, now we have four. This is enough to beat wave three. So now we can spend all of our money to buy items. Any items that we want because we already know we are set for wave three. And we are on wave two, right? And that means we want to get trees, we want to get gentle aliens, we want to get more shurikens if they show up, but they are not a priority. But this is how I like to play, how I usually play, that I like, under you learn how, what you can do in the game. Harvesting is actually huge here, sure. You learn what you can do in the game and then you prepare for that. One more rule is one more shuriken. It's not one more shuriken. These are all horrible, so we'll just continue. Also hi Dex, hi Frankly. Yeah, I wanted to go for VS after the run, but I kind of said that shurikens are overpowered and I would like to show that properly. The issue is always that my greed lays against that, you know, to just easily win a run. Because all I needed to do in the last run was get a little bit more HP. That's it. J just get 10 more HP. Oh my god. So, a reasonable person would now buy this. Like, I just want to point that out, that you know what you should do. That's actually fine. Ach, man! Ah, it's not perfect, but do you remember when I said at Wave 5 you have um, three blue shurikens? Yeah, we could have easily had three blue shurikens right now, if I wasn't that unlucky with the rules. Double your HP. You don't even need double HP. If I wouldn't have gotten the um, the plus 25% damage but minus 3 armor, we would have taken around 11 damage per shot. And that means I would have survived 4 shots. And we had lifesteal. So I was more than fine. Like It was also like really annoying because where I died, I, I literally blinked before that and walked into one strike but then also in the second one. And that is what killed me. Lifesteal is really good. I'll... Okay. I'll take it. Well, there we go. Why skip an early bag? So... Okay. Imagine... Let me explain it this way. Imagine you... Buy something that costs you 100 euros and every day you get 1 euro. Okay. And you say, because that pays for itself, I want that. So you spend your 100 euros and now you don't have 100 euros anymore. Now you get to a new selection and there it is. Pay 50 euros and you get 50 euros every single day infinitely forever. Sucks, right? Because you just spend all of your money on something that pays itself back. But then you found a way better option that is that gives you way more, but you can't buy it anymore, right? Because you don't have money left. And that... Well, I should bump up melee damage, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah, so the bag is a problematic thing where when you already have a positive outcome, it's even more positive. And if I go for defensive things, I want to go for something there where if the negative case happens, which is for example no crate, I'm better off. You know, because I don't care if I get a crate to have it even better, because the crate is already amazing if I get that. But I have to invest a lot of luck to make that worth it. So I don't like the bag all too much. Now don't get me wrong, if you had wave 9 and I have 600 material and I see a bag, I will pick them up. I will get them, because it's still worth it, you know. It will pay for itself, and the rolls will get so expensive that I'm just wasting the money. So it's worth more to just buy something in the shop than rolling. But yeah. It, 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 it's really complicated early on to justify an expensive purchase, but I could also buy three shurikens with it, or two shurikens, you know. 
We are almost at 100% luck, cheese. Uh, not luck, crit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who needs armor? Who needs armor? Back pays for itself in free crates. Yeah, and if you get half the kills because you don't have the upgrades, then you just lost a huge amount of money. That's always the problem with things. It's like with the recycling machine, you know? When people say, just take the recycling machine. Yeah, but, like, the value depends on me already getting crates. And then something that is bad, that I wouldn't want to have it. But it also needs to have high value that the percentage kicks in, you know? And it takes so long to pay that off. It's similar to a video that I recently uploaded, where I played a saber. And someone said, I should have bought the wisdom. And... We did the math on it, and the Wisdom, if I would have bought it, would have given me less damage compared to the, um... Not the Wisdom, a uh, ring. The ring. 3% ring. It was, like, super early. Like, the, the per wave, you get 3% damage. I got it on wave 8, and the person was not happy that I didn't buy the ring because it's an early wave, right? Yeah, except that the material you gain from the saver because he has a piggy bank gives you not only more damage, but also HP because of padding. So... Even though it looked like a good option, like a great option, the alternative was way better. Uh, lifesteal, okay. Let's let's not go super greed mode. And that's the same reason why I skip a lot of luck right now. I don't care all too much about... Oh, that's evil. About that, what I care... Well, it's a meme. <laughs> I mean, okay, we'll take that for sure. That's what I was talking about. So yeah, I got that on wave 8. And it, like, it sounds like it's so worth it. Because we had like 30 rounds ahead of us or so. Right? That's like 90% damage. Yeah, but it was worse. It was worse. Good morning, evening, after. Oh, yeah, hello there. Hello there. Uh, what I need right now is range. And not to look at comments too much. Because I'll get one shot here. We don't have melee damage as a problem. Like before, when I had so much damage, I had way more melee damage. I don't have that anymore. I will get- I will actually get one shot here. I didn't realize that. If they t tickle me, I'll get one shot. How did I get into such a bad situation? Well... <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how. Yeah. Wait, how do- how- Wait a second. I didn't pick armor a single time. Is it true? Because I have negative 4 armor here, negative 4 armor here. Wow, Dex, you're a little bit greedy. J just a tiny bit. <laughs> Don't pick glass cannon? No, I shouldn't. It wasn't needed either way. It's just when I see it, I'm like, oh my god, that is so much fun. I mean, that, will, that will be a lot of fun. Yeah, but I shouldn't do it. The thing is, okay, like this also happens in my life a lot where I tell someone not to do something and I'll do it, you know? Be like, I know it's bad and I shouldn't do it, but I'll still do it. Let's go for the luck. That was bad. Yeah, okay. Nah. I need armor, but it's so exp exactly like... Ah, oh, I could have fun instead. It actually does work. You can go for a full glass cannon build on shurikens, but you need more range and you need way more melee damage. If you have that, you just one-shot all the enemies and the bounces take care of the further away enemies. But, like, for that you need that, right? Oh, that could have been an amazing chest. Challenge idea Dex is obliged to get Shmoopy when it appears. We used to do it in the past. Okay, let's just take the armor. And um, yep, that already looks amazing. I can't get it right. Yeah, I can't get it. Charcoal has no negative side. Right, I need to remember that the dude gets no harvesting. Didn't I pick harvesting on a level up before? Oh man, why does this always happen to me? I feel like the game should just gray out the stat and show you. Oh yeah, you can't get that, it doesn't do anything. That would be great. Okay, how about you actually give me my shurikens now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what did I do? What did I do to serve this? I do have... A wild build idea that I want to do. The multitasker with 12 shurikens mainly focus on attack speed, not damage, and then the giant's belt. 
Like, can you imagine how insane that would be? Alter! Where are my shurikens? Like, this is insane. I want that now. Give me the shurikens. Come, deine Mutter, Alter. What isn't that? It's, 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 it's two horde waves. It's hard enough to get that. And then it's like with. Yeah, come. That pisses me off now. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh, the crit could have killed it. Oh, if the crit bounced over there, we would have gotten it. Okay, attack speed is good. Shuriken, nice. Shuriken! Shuriken! Uh, we can actually get a fourth Shuriken. Alter. Are you going crazy? Uh, just a little bit. Uh, just a little tiny bit. It's okay. We are down one shuriken. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll just focus more on melee damage now. We'll okay. Let's let's play a serious run. Next serious run. I said serious run. Don't don't be stupid. Serious run. 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 Okay. But if you want to have a serious run, then I we need. Well, that's okay. Sure. That is also okay. We lose 0.8 percent damage, but who cares? I, it, it's kind of insane actually, but I need to make sure that I get all the shurikens ASAP. You would just want to have six shurikens. This is so important that you reach that milestone. And after that, you can go for other stuff. But just clearing out the enemies, getting the max amount of material is ridiculously important. And missing out on one shuriken on wave one hurts so much. Can you still mod potato by. Yeah, yeah, I can mod it. Yeah, uh, mod it. In fact, most of the stuff I have for my thumbnails is out of the game files. Lifesteal would be the best option here. Attack sp uh, armor is actually better. Uh, series is so boring. Sure. Well, the issue with shurikens is, as I said before, the slingshot is better on tier 1 to, four, uh, to 3, you know. So what you really need with shurikens is you need a ridiculous amount of sh shurikens to quickly ramp them up. Otherwise, they are just straight up worse than slingshots. Which is why I said that I think slingshots are probably tied for number 1 for me. Simply because their early game is so much better, but their late game potential is a lot worse. And especially there are way more melee upgrades in the game compared to... That's actually fine. Yeah, that's fine. There are way more melee upgrades in the game compared to... Let's get the range. Um, ranged upgrades. Oh, come. That's so bad. Hey, Dex, did you see the Hall of Torment update? Yes, and I played it. We made a video on that yesterday. Utterly disappointed in the golem. Utterly disappointed. Well... Uh, the golem is fine, but like, yeah, I don't know. I need to play him as a rolling stone and see how he performs. Why do I feel so sluggish? Like, I feel incredibly slow still. Like, I feel ridiculously slow. This is normal. Because it's kind of bad enough to ignore you. Yeah. The only reason why I want to have scaling, uh, range scaling is actually just for the shurikens. Uh, range on the shurikens around, you want to have around 450, and then you kill anything before it even gets into range to um, aim at you. That's like the, the real goal. Okay, one shuriken, that's good, but too expensive. Two shuriken, we have like a perfect setup here, by the way. Oh, oh come. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. Okay. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, I'm mad again. I want to restart, but we have a double horde wave, which is worth just continuing because you get so much material out of it. Ah, oh, but now I'm mad again. And if I'm mad, then I don't, like, I don't really put a lot of effort into my brain. Ah, uh, can I convince myself to be happy about the horde waves? Horde wave. Okay, if I get two shurikens here, I'll be happy. I can't get two shurikens. I can get two shurikens. Crit is good. I can get two shurikens if I get one here. 
Perfect. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. But this character really doesn't like to, like, not have enough damage and attack speed. Like, in a moment like this, yeah, I could have died if the enemy just dashed a little bit earlier. So we have to be really careful. My my mindset is usually, and I have to change that on a character like him that is so squishy, I like to walk through enemies because there's a high chance your weapon will just nuke the enemies and you get the material, and otherwise you take a little bit of damage, but then you just don't walk through enemies anymore. But we can't afford that. Like, I will die if I do that. Nice. That is actually really good. Yeah, and now we roll into one more shuriken. No, we don't. Okay. Hi, Hinski. Welcome, welcome. It also doesn't help that I constantly look over to chat. <laughs> I need to make the window uh, bigger or so of chat because it's so small that I have to like first see where is a comment. Then I have to read it. No, and not fail at it. And then I can look back at the game and that takes way too long. Like in a run where I get one shot, that's just, uh, yeah, not great. That was close. I could have died there. Crit is amazing. Attack speed would be way better. Yeah. Sure. Nice. Um, I can only get one of these. I'll get this. Let's go to safe route. We have a double horde wave. We have a low amount of shurikens, but we have a blue shuriken in the shop, which means we have, technically speaking, two shurikens, uh, two blue shurikens right now, which is fine. That is good enough. And we don't need blue shurikens on this wave, because, like, damage-wise, the reason why I want to aim for so many shurikens is we really want to get red shurikens. Like, that is our goal, to get this at, like, wave 13 to 14, we want to have four to five red shurikens, which, if you take a look at these, will not happen, okay? In the other run that we had, where I died because I was too greedy, we were on our way to do that. Because once you have a lot of money, you can roll a lot, and you will just randomly get a purple red shuriken. And they are relatively cheap, so it's really easy. Oh, I have negative attack speed, I just realized. Wow. Oh, really? That could have been a shuriken. That is good, but it's... I need to get more shurikens. What do you think about the hardest character with the worst weapon and what would that be? No, I, I really think it's a farmer with the hands. Yeah, I would say so. Forced into only hands. Was it a farmer or was it a pacifist that I'm thinking about? No, the pacifist. Pacifist. Pacifier, whatever. With only hands. Yeah. But may, I, I think that's rather a me issue because I just get bored out so much and I, I really don't concentrate. And when I don't concentrate anymore, I randomly start walking into enemies to get some excitement back. Like, you know, barely surviving something or so, and that gets me killed. Crit is amazing, blue shuriken is amazing, that's really good. Armor would be decent, I'll actually just take it. There's another shuriken. Melee damage for the luck would be worth it to gamble the run, but I'll not do it. Range is okay, dangerous bunny is okay. Six blue shurikens, that's nice. My armor is your range attacks a mod for better visibility, if that's what's called. Huh? What do you mean? If you mean the enemy range, then no, that's just in the settings. You can highlight ranged attacks from enemies. Uh, here. Options, gameplay, projectiles highlighting. Uh, our shurikens are a little bit weak. How much melee damage do I have? 10. 10 is actually not little. So what is the problem? Yeah, we don't have a purple one. Usually you want to have one purple one because they bounce more and are more likely to kill these eggs and they can one-shot them with a crit. Because a purple one would right now deal around like 25 damage-ish. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. No, 24 sounds about right. I kind of want to combine now one just to see if I was right or wrong. But well, we can combine one. 17, 1 1.5 times is half, is 8, is 25, 8, 10, 25 was actually right. Wow. Not bad, Dex. I know my weapons. Nah. 
Gotta work on the attack speed. Yeah, attack speed is the biggest holdback. It doesn't matter too, too much. But the biggest issue with a weak character like this that just gets one shot is that one enemy survives and kills you. And this is why you want to have attack speed. Like this dude here. We can kill them in one single attack. But only if all of our attacks go into them. So if one attack decides to go for another enemy, I will die. And that's where we have to be really careful. Man, I'm still salty that I lost the first run. No, it was no the second run, right? That was so insane. Yeah, I'm still salty about that. I can't believe I took the negative three armor in both runs and this killed me. But I don't I rarely learn my lesson. <laughs> We got it. Uh, we don't care. I think we have... Oh no, we don't have 100% crit. Yeah. Tentacle is very nice. We don't care about anything here. Hunting trophy is amazing. This is amazing. This is actually decent. Sure. I don't care. Hunting trophy before the farm wave. I can't believe it. I can die here though. Because we don't have enough attack speed. Like if one shuriken misses... Because, like, all shurikens can go into one enemy, but, like, only one is required to kill them. That means four other shurikens are wasted. That means I can die if it goes wrong. Oh, wow. I really want to have the material though. 500 material. Easy bees, lemon squeezy. Jesus Christ. 600 material. Oh my god, that wave was so worth it. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ach, nein, ach, man. I should have auto aimed, but I. Yeah. Nah, it's okay. I got 6 HP out of that. Is that really worth it? I don't know. I'm not sure. I shouldn't take more enemies right now, but it's okay. Oh my god. You know what? F it. So, take a comparison, okay? So, the blue one has 13 damage and 0.81 attack speed. It hits 3 enemies a total. This one has 17 damage, so it's a little bit more. Same it well, a little bit more attack speed, actually. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Now look at this. Look at this baby. 24 damage hits 5 enemies at total. That's 120 damage. 0 0.68 seconds cooldown. That thing nukes. That thing nukes. And, like, crits, okay? 110% crits. Like, nothing will get close to us here. Two purple ones are still better than one red one, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will get close to us. Dude just dashes next to me. Well, that also works. <laughs> okay, maybe we need more attack speed. We need more attack speed. And more range. If they... like, So, you want to attack them already before they start dashing. And... Either you don't have enough attack speed because they, the weapons are still shooting at something else, or you don't have enough range. And we are missing attack speed like crazy. What is our attack speed? 2% wow, while Dex. We really bumped that up. Uh, we need level 15 for that, for high attack speed value. There will be 15% attack speed. Oh, but that will take a while. Oh, that means the Horde Wave will... No, 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 no. The Horde Wave is 12, right? Please be 12. Please don't be 11. That is decent. It's not that great, but it's decent. 9 HP, I don't care, I honestly... I mean, don't mind me if I do. Don't mind me if I do. Yeah, 12, okay. Oh my god. I really want that. Because of the range. Hmm. Yeah, that's bad. Technically speaking, I'm wasting a huge amount of money right now because every single time I rule... Yeah, okay, that's amazing. I'll get speed in the next upgrade. I'll get speed and then we buy it. The 80 range has insane value to us. 
Like, being able to hit the enemies from further away is, like, insane. Bye, Gonzel. Have a good one. Hi, Aggressor. It's almost so terrible that they revert the old change. Huh? I mean, they did nerf armor a few times, but, like, I don't think it's horrible. Like, I think it's fine. It's just, you can't survive just with armor and picking up some fruits. Like how it used to be. I mean, you can if you don't get hit, duh. But, like, if you don't get hit, then it also doesn't matter to have armor, right? So that argument doesn't make any sense. What about the electric shift build? What, what is about that? We need speed here. Ah, who needs speed? Five hundred sixty-five range. We all we need now is melee damage and attack speed. Oh, and the demo, yeah, but that is like super old. That, that, that is like super outdated. The 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 I, I have a video on that, like the Thor video, I think it's called. I turned into Thor and Potato or something like that. But uh, that is way too outdated. Like I don't think is that even still a weapon in the game? I think it is. Yeah, but it's. It's way worse than it used to be because they heavily reduced the scaling because it was so broken. They reduced everything on the weapon pretty much. The thing is, even though I just went for attack speed over speed, we still don't have enough attack speed. But once we get now into the territory of having... Um, Sure. Of having... Sure. Of... Sure. Of having red shurikens, we'll be fine. This is actually okay. I should have bumped up luck either way, because the more luck you have, the more likely you are to get the weapons that you already own. So, like, this is the reason why in many of my videos I get these weapons so insanely fast. And people ignore that so much. They're like... Oh, I can't believe that you get so many weapons in a row. It's like, yeah, but I have like 50 luck at wave 4. Or, okay, not wave 4. But like really early. Like, you know, wave 6 or so. Because I focus on luck a lot. And not only that, it also gives you higher chances for higher levels. So, instead of getting a blue one, you could get a purple one, which has ridiculous value. But yeah, let's just say if you play it safe, shurikens should always do amazingly well, if you're not stupid like me. And if you have a problem with the early game of shurikens, you can just go for slingshots, because they're pretty much the same weapon. Slingshot has an amazing advantage and it also gives you HP, so you don't need to take care of that. And you're not forced into picking up crit, which doesn't mean you shouldn't get any crit, but rather, you're not forced into getting it as early as possible for the bounces, right? Because you always have the bounces. Oh my god, 6 melee damage, that is beautiful. I will actually take that, it's a little bit late, and there we go. And there we go. Oh, I can't even buy that, lol. 12% damage minus 1.2% damage, that's worth it, I would say. Healing a little bit is good, healing a little bit is good. Um, how much do I care about this to lock it? Not really. Do I care enough about this to lock it, though? I kill a lot of enemies. Um, no. If I would get it in the shop offered and I have the money, I would definitely buy it. But I, I, it's not worth it for me to lock it. Not at wave 14, not in such a late wave. Like, we literally get red items offered right now. And I'm not gonna lock a common item for a potential red item. If we get red Romation hoodie here... Ah, but that's minus 80 range, right? Hmm... But that's only minus 8% damage. For so much attacks, but yeah, that's worth it, right? How much? Oh, we have 1% dodge. 
you can still build up dodge. Like the thing, the ridiculous thing about the Retromation hoodie is, all you need is like three rounds and you can get 30% dodge, if not more. And that's 60% attack speed. And no one can tell me that for three rounds, 60% attack speed is bad because it's ridiculously good. Uh, the only problem would be losing range on the shurikens. That's like the only thing I would have a problem with there, with that choice. Also, in any game you play, why do you like uh, Mesonverse or Effect Cycle like Soulstone instead of dealing? It always depends on at what stage I am in the game. Like, if I'm doing early videos, I always use them because they are part of the game and it's not my concern or my problem to deal with that because it's how the game is, right? Now, if I'm further into the game, then I change that up. But yeah, in the beginning, not. Also, people really enjoy seeing damage numbers. I don't mind it because they annoy me in the least amount of times. And if they annoy me, I just turn it off. What does harvesting do? So harvesting is amazing. It gives you bonus material that increases every single round, but you also get experience. So it's not just material, but also experience. Meaning if you have a lot of harvesting, you get a ginormous amount of bonus levels. But the problem is, it's an investment, okay? It pays off over time. The biggest thing that could go wrong is that you take a lot of harvesting and then you end up having less kills, you know? Because then it becomes a question of did I get more out of harvesting compared to having more kills. And it's complicated because kills can also give you crates if you have luck. So yeah, it's a little bit of a tough call. How much material did we just get in this hot wave? Okay, sure. Harvesting gave XP. Oh, here, here. You earn zero materials and experience at the end of a wave. That's like the bonus. I should have went for something else. Well, it's just amazing. That's still worth it. Like, it's ridiculous how worth it it is. Um, okay. How important is it for me to get the attack speed here? It's 10% that's not worth it. Ah, it's kind of worth it. It's actually worth it. It's actually worth it is a ridiculous part. Even though it's just 10% attack speed. The value on attack speed... Like, attack speed is everything that I need right now. So, it's actually worth it. But I'm not gonna lock it. And the luck is more important to me. Is Chunky good? Chunky can be good. Like, I wouldn't say he's a top tier hero. But I think... It's easy enough win with him but not easy thank you pb is dodge better than armor is it situational you want to have dodge work together with armor usually um because they the if the effective hp that you have which is the real hp after over like a bunch of hits increases exponentially if you have dodge combined with armor nice 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 that was bad okay to compensate for that i need a lucky coin now because i was stupid sure <laughs> nice order decks uh boss fight time okay let's take a look at this how are we actually doing so this hits five times that's 325 damage multiplied by 1.5. That's 487. Right? Something like that. Damage. Every... Oh, and then three times a second almost. So that's like 1000 damage that this red shuriken does. At maximum. If we assume we hit everything. Oh, that's easy. That's like our favorite boss here. Because our shurikens just... We would have wanted to have the farm dude that spawns a ton. Like, now we definitely wanted him. Because we would have easily killed everything he spawns and we get a huge amount of material. Like a ginormous amount of material. Hi Tartars, welcome. Effective HP equals HP times damage reduction times dodge percent. E yes. Yes. Headaches love the content. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, thank you. 
I uploaded a little bit of less Vampire Survivors lately because there's simply not a lot coming to my mind that I want to do. Gorgeous Moon, Limit Break, uh, King Bible Limit Break are up there. And then I instantly got a comment, are you done with Vampire Survivors? I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> so. Well then. Well then. Well then. Well then. Well then. Well then! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's just good. Oh, that's just really good. Oh, that's just really, really good. I wonder if we actually get a lot of crates now out of the enemies. There's one. Man, luck is so good. There's a crate instantly out of the tree. Oh, that's what I love seeing. Come on, drop more crates, guys. Do I have trees? I have one tree. Oh my god, that's so bad. I don't think we'll get a lot of crates. Maybe three, if we are lucky. But, um, yeah. That's, that's, like, that's so amazing to get that lucky coin. Oh, there's a third one. Do we get another one? Uh, if these crates would all give me trees, and we have like four trees after this wave, that would be great. But, okay, this dude doesn't count, okay? I didn't account for him when I said brave. Wait, will I actually be right? Oh no, there's another crate. Okay, I was wrong. Dude, uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, I love this. Okay, that is just like straight up amazing. We need Retromation Hoodie here. Like, really soon. And more luck, and more luck. And let's go for... I don't have lifesteal at all. How, wh when did that happen? I guess we don't care about it then. That's good. That's okay. I should build up lifesteal. Range is huge. That is also okay. That is also okay, because we scale up luck with that. Okay! But it's just hilarious. Without the two armor, I'll die instantly. I have eight armor. I don't think I'll die instantly. How many tentacles do we have? Oh no. Okay, I don't recover any HP. I don't have life steal. Oh no. No shuriken upgrade since five waves. Yeah, that's a problem when you have a purple shuriken. It's, it's sad because the difference between a purple and a red shuriken is insane. So having another red shuriken would be really great. Dude, we have so much material and this is a normal wave. This is not a hard wave. How much was- about 128 was left over. Oh my god. Um, that's still okay. I don't want that. That's okay. Uh, I want to have attack speed here. Range is also not bad. No, I want to have attack speed. Really? I mean, that's attack speed, I guess. That's great. That's just amazing. That's just... <sighs> okay. Um, okay, I wasted so much money there. This could be a problem, this fight. Like, this could actually be a big problem. Because there are not a lot of enemies that spawn, and we heal with killing enemy spike crits, and we don't have a lot of movement speed. So I kind of hope the damage of the shurikens will just carry me. Jeez, that was close. Did I just select Endless? I don't remember clicking on Endless. I mean, I wanted to, but I don't remember doing that. 
Did I? Did I? Is having only material for the attack speed? Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, attack speed has ridiculous value to me. So, I really wanted to have that. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, we have so much luck, I don't care. It's okay. Oh, mama. I, I think I'll even buy this. If we survive this round, we have a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, that was kind of easy. <laughs> oh, you'll have a lot of fun in this game. I don't have any HP. Okay, that's a big problem. I will just randomly get nuked, so be prepared that this ends any moment. But, um, yeah, we will we'll take this as far as we can, okay? We'll take this as far as we can. Good morning, David. Oh my god, we also have so many crates on the floor. Oh, I love it. How much attack speed do we have right now? Oh my, we al almost shoot four of them per second. That is insane. That is just ridiculous. To these slow bullets, I <laughs> it's so hard to not walk into them. Because they are so slow, I don't view them as a threat, so I just ignore them in my mind. Six. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. I need Retromation Hoodie, is pretty much what I'm doing here. I don't think I care about you. Perfect. And the two armor, I'll actually pick that up. Because How did I go down to four armor? Hold on a second. What happened there? Minus one, minus one, minus two, okay. Dude, we shoot so many shurikens. <laughs> I want to see the next boss fight. Predict that which way if he dies, 37. You guys are optimistic. I think it will be ridiculously hard to, to win 30. Because there are too many bosses around. And while we melt the majority of the HP of the bosses, the final part, like the leftover, the end, is the real tough part. 22. I'll not die on a non-boss wave. Normal enemies are not a threat to us. So my goal is bump up armor, bump up lifesteal right now. Melee damage as well. We need the mammoth. The ah, my. <laughs> we need the mammoth, guys. <laughs> the very first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is unique. Do I just. Yeah, I'll just take it. Because it's unique, it will never appear again. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. That's just. That's just. That's just way too hilarious. Oh my god. Oh yes. <laughs> No, now all I need is the Retromation hoodie and I'm happy. That was really close. Like, I thought that was the Retromation hoodie. Okay, let, let's be honest. Do I, I'll, I'll take the Wisdom. I think it's good enough. No, that's another melee damage and that's more luck. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Dude, the, the lucky coin. You know, I talked about that and the Mammoth. That's just... Oh, 76 times 5 times 1.5 times 4. That's the damage that this deals right now. Map it out yourself. Oh my god. Oh my god. It will deal insane damage. We don't really care about individual damage. We only care about um, killing the enemies as fast as possible. 
Which is pretty much, we just need attack speed. And the thing is, everything in the shop right now ramps up really quickly in price. So we have to make sure to get the stuff that we want. Like, if we don't really quickly get the stuff that we want, we will die. As long as there's not a one-shot, nothing else matters. Exa exactly, yes. There is still something that matters, because again, since we only did current HP damage to the enemies, we still have to kill the final stretch of HP, so it does matter to have some damage, but something that just randomly attacks is way too hard to aim at what I want to kill, you know? But yeah. Oh my god, the mammoth moment, that was amazing. Oh, it's scripted, guys. We only got three chests this time. This is fine. This is good. This is okay. This is okay. More attack speed. Beautiful. Lifesteal, I will actually get that because we can take it positive soon. I, I'll never get positive lifesteal. That is insane. Yeah, but my speed is so bad. I don't... Do I care about this at this point? No. Sure. Nah, that's not worth it. That's also not worth lock- nothing here is worth locking. Let's continue. Just check baby elephant, pretty sure it will one-shot enemies. Um... No, 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 no. 200 is- to, for the enemies that matters, 200 is by far not enough. Like, by far not. Like, if I can one-shot something with my shuriken, I don't need an item to one-shot them because they already get one-shot. And, okay, so you have to think about it this way. We have six shurikens that shoot each five times, right? They can hit five enemies. So we have 30 bullets that we shoot per shot, but we shoot four a second. So we shoot 120 bullets a second. That means nothing on the screen will survive if it dies in a single hit, because everything will get hit at least once, with the amount of bullets that we have. Now, to be fair, we also have a lot of waste. Like, when do you see that when we shoot out? How they don't hit anything, because the enemies are already dead? But if we assume there's a boss, then we will just constantly shoot into the boss and everything flies around. Still a lot of waste, because it will just, like, bounce to enemies that are already dead. Which sometimes causes really hilarious interactions because the shuriken gets confused and tries to find a new enemy and does really stupid stuff. But yeah. Three crates. Oh, that's really going down. Uh, I shouldn't do that. Stop that, Dex. Stop being stupid. Um, sure. We definitely... Okay, I'll take it. The cyber... I mean, oh, it's not limited. If it was limited, I would buy it. But it's not limited. Chance to deal 214 damage to a random enemy when an enemy dies. Uh, okay, sure. I'm, I think if we get enough of them, it could be good. Uh, crit and dodge minus range, sure. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. I'm still waiting for Retromation Hoodie in case you're wondering why I keep picking up uh, dodge. Is it good enough to justify buying it? I think it is. Actually, no, I don't get speed anymore. Um, HP is reduced. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is the final stretch of HP that is a little bit difficult to deal with. But we do need damage. Um, but yeah, that was easy. I, th I still think 30 will be a big challenge. It's not because it will be hard to kill them, but it will be hard to survive against three enemies shooting at me. Next idea to buy blood donation next time it appears. I it wouldn't actually change anything. Like, we don't get harvesting out of it either way, but, like, the thing is we heal enough that we don't take damage from it, right? We don't have lifesteal, but look at the HP regeneration. And we, when we kill someone with a crit, which we do at 100%, except for the cyberball that doesn't crit, okay, that's bad. I didn't consider that, but we get less money now because of the cyberball. Oh, I hate that. I shouldn't have picked that up. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I hate that. Because the main money here is not coming from kills, it's coming from material, bonus material. Oh my god, what's your end? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, sure. What? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hey, we got the four trees.
Sure. Sure. Dude, this weapon is just... I love it. I love it so much. Does Giant Belt take 1% of current health? Yes, current health. Take the alien thingy that increases enemy count every time it pops out. I, I do that. <laughs> there are only rare exceptions where I don't take it, which is when I know that I need more weapons right now to beat the next wave. So if I take more enemies, it would be stupid. But aside from that, I always take it. If I didn't pick up the gentle alien, it was simply a mistake. Because it means more money for me. More enemies don't make it harder. More enemies actually make it better for me. Because the more enemies you have around, the more material you get. But also, it allows the shurikens to bounce more. Which, believe it or not, is actually needed. Because otherwise, you kill all the enemies and then the shurikens disappear. Because they have nothing to bounce to. So, yes, I do want that. Um, let's get the sausages now. Like, everything that has a limit, I'll just pick it up. And we don't care about you. Lifesteal will be good. Yeah, great. <laughs> once we get... <laughs> Guys, once we get the Retromation hoodie, this will be great. Uh. Don't worry about it. We will have it. Okay. How, how, how fast do we heal up? We actually have insane healing. And this gets more and more and more because of the medikit that we have. Like, it just increases every, what, five seconds or so? Where is it? Medikit? There. Yeah, every five seconds, yeah. We actually have, we have a decent amount of healing. Wow. <clears throat> Not as much as I hope for, to be honest, but it's decent. We need more tentacles is the thing. I think we still only have one or two tentacles. I think it's two. Hoodie wave 29, let's hope for it. I mean, if this will be a wave 40 video, I will upload it to YouTube as its own video. Because then we achieve that on the Hunter. I'm too lazy to walk around. I don't want to. Oh, that was close. I just gotta be really careful with, with some enemies. They start dealing like 200 damage later, so we get one shot. Like, we have to be careful with those. Sure. <laughs> we have almost 700 luck. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. This is actually... I think this is almost worth more. Yeah. That's 10% luck as well. Sure. How much range do we have? 767. Okay, dokie. I ordered, welcome. Ah, okay. Dex, keep your eyes on the goddamn map, man. You're fighting bosses. <gasps> oh, Dasher, Dasher. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. I hate this dude so much. Okay. Oh, wow. I, if we get three of him, we will just die. Like, there's nothing I can do. We have negative five speed. I, I can't outrun him. I can technically dodge him. It's not as hard as I always make it sound, but it's really difficult in my opinion, compared to other bosses. No way it goes to 40. There's actually a realistic chance this could go to 40, yes. Which mainly depends on my brain. If my brain works properly and doesn't want to do stupid stuff, there's a realistic chance we get to 40. Some tardigrade would be useful, yes. We need tardigrades. All three. The, like, the thing is, why I say don't expect 40, and, like, the main problem is we can die to a single hit later. And that will be the main issue. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. Six melee damage is nice. This is okay. This is okay. Okay, like, but if I don't get the hoodie, we have a problem. Like, I, I kind of gambled on getting that. That's so bad. Did I buy that before? I didn't, right? But I think in one run I did, because I thought the harvesting works. 
Tangerine. Yeah, Tangerine. Well, uh, what? No, it's Tardigrade. <laughs> but I keep saying Tangerine, I think. I always say Tangerine. Retardigrade, yes. Get armor for safety. Yeah, I need to. I mean, we have 12 armor. It's not like we don't have armor. The thing is, the enemies start dealing damage so fast, like it ramps up so quickly that armor doesn't matter anymore. I had runs where I had 100 armor and I still got one shot at wave 40. No, no I didn't get one shot, but like I still died. Like, right, we even had a video where I had like, what, 700 HP or so and 100 armor. Or, no, it wasn't 100, but like a lot, 70 armor. And I still got destroyed by the enemies. Next, do you think the one arm should have weapons enabled to go higher than four? No. No, I don't think so. For fun, you could do that, but I don't think so. For the character balance. Nah, I don't care. It does a lot of damage, but it's like, yeah. The, oh man, the prices are ramping up so quickly. I need to find the stuff that I really want to have here. Well, that's like the second trophy to Dingus, eh? Give that to me earlier. <laughs> if I see... Like, when I see red, I'm like, yo! And then I see what it... <gasps> But my eyes are so tired, it's so hard to not blink. Because they start burning. Okay, that was fine. But do you see how much HP? Thanks, you idiot. Like, whenever I think it's fine, I just stop thinking. I don't do anything anymore. And I can easily die to the bullets of him. And I just stand next to him and start talking and not looking anymore. And I just look away. Thanks, you idiot. Stay awake, man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I could actually get more of those that instantly, like, pick up item, like, material, 20% chance. We don't need Sift, we'll build our own Sift. You've been wondering what a Tangerine is? Yeah, yeah, it's that. It's the animal that blocks damage. An anvil as an, an Endless is so huge. An anvil in Endless is okay, at best, in my opinion. It's not that great, because the, the damage scaling of the enemy is, is so insane. Mm, sure. The, the damage scaling of the enemies is so insane that it really quickly doesn't do anything anymore. There. 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 Game says no. Yeah. Right? Like, we had, we had it on the king, right? Man, you skipped the trill. Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy a drill here. <laughs> it could have been nice for a little bit of bonus material, but our shurikens kill the enemies before they get close enough that a drill would have drilled. Maybe it would have been worth it? It gets more attack speed, so it attacks very fast, but no, shurikens have more value to me. Yeah. No, I don't think I would have bought it. But I mean, I, I didn't buy it for a reason. But yeah, to the one arm part, there are many things you can do in this game that could be fun. Like I, right, like in some videos I added a new tier to weapons. I think there was the video, um, what was it called? Let me quickly see. Um, it was Sniper. Sniper, Sniper. Yeah, there we go. Um, I made my own tier for weapons, right? So let me, let me quickly show that. Do you love this? Right, like, um, here we have, okay, they look red in the game. Because I couldn't actually change the color, because I'm too stupid. Um, where's the new tier of them? Is it already? Oh yeah, yeah, I think that's the new tier. Is that? No, that was just a naming mistake. Where are they? Did I just not achieve them? Was it that hard to get them? It could be that some of those are actually higher level. Like, and it's, it just shows them as red and it didn't work out, but like, they are still upgraded versions. Mm. 
but it should have worked out. Am I going through the items here? Let me see. And if we don't want... I don't. Okay. Um, yeah, but I, wait, I have, a, I have a screenshot actually. I think this is what I did. Let me see. YouTube. Uh, thumbnails. Rotato. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah. There. So this was the base form, this was the second form, third form, fourth form, and this is the final sniper gun. It had like the best scaling out of them. 50, no, 30% range. Okay, that's actually the same as this one. Oh, but it's higher. Oh, I didn't have a picture, so I just copied that right. Yeah, but this is what it looked like. If, if it would have worked, but yeah. Like, it's relatively easy to do that in modding. Um, Sure, it's limited, sure. Oh, sure. The moment I say I will build our own sift, sift shows up. Okay, but can I just, like, can I just really, like, can I just, can I just get my, my favorite? We don't need that, why did I buy that? Can I just get my... Honestly? Sure. Can I just get my item? My Retromation hoodie? Please? That was good that we dodged. Nice. Easy peasy. What is the highest level you've gotten to? I think 45, if I remember right, with loud. Though to be fair, that wasn't a full attempt on getting to the highest level, so I should do that again. Because it just randomly happened and then I was like, oh wow, okay, we can just see how far we take it. But I think if you do a dedicated run with its, uh, like with flints, with attack speed flints, and then you have the giant's build, it's like the build that we have right now, except that you would have like 2000% attack speed. And you can imagine with 2000% attack speed, those shurikens, they would shoot very often. Like very, very often. Like super ridiculously often. And you would also have like padding or something like that maybe, tardigrade, perfect. Actually I'll just buy that, I don't need the armor. Who needs armor right? Am I right guys? Ah, Dex, you idiot. Eight hundred luck. Oh, perfect. That is the final one. Okay, we got everything. A little bit late, but we got everything. It's already getting a little bit complicated. Where enemies are, like, can charge at us, so if we don't hit right, I will die. I would like to stand still and have them dash into me once. The, okay, so we talked about Anvil earlier. And I said Anvil is not that great. Um, so, it's not as amazing later on because the enemies either way have enough damage, but obviously a super advantage of it is you don't have to focus on armor at all anymore. So don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Anvil, but it's not something necessary. It's more- oh my god. <laughs> it's more like great to have, tardigrade, amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, let's not do that again. Like that was bad. Oh, nice. Sure. Wait. We have to kill the cook first. He's like the only thing that really focuses on me. The rest is more like, yeah, do whatever you want to do. Oh my god, the circle's around me. I hate that. Who is that even? Is that the, the other dude that summons stuff that does that? I think, right? Do you get anything as crit as over 100%? Yes, luck. We have the lucky coin. 
So if you take a look at our lucky coin, we get 542 luck right now. We get 2% luck or 2 points of luck every single time we get more crit. So no, it sadly doesn't allow you to multi-crit, which would actually be hilarious because that would be broken. But we still get luck. And luck gives us a huge amount of crates. And since we don't get, like we can't buy a lot in the shop very soon, the crates have insane value to us. Because like if we get a red item out of that, that could easily cost 1000 in a shop. Ah, uh, maybe not that much, maybe 800. But yeah. Five crates is still decent, that is okay, that is okay, that is okay, that is okay, that is amazing. Five, we don't care about that, we'll take the attack speed, big arms is amazing. You are minus 16 luck, but I can afford that and I'll take it. Two armor, I'll actually lock that, that's how much armor we need right now. Because we have a decent chance to get past 40, so I kind of would like to build up my armor unchokingly. How much attack speed do we have? <laughs> 0 0.16! Oh my god, that's 6 attacks a second! Wow. Wow. 6 times 5 times 6 times the damage times the crit. Oh my god. How much damage do we take here? Oh, we have uh, Tangerine, right? T tardigrade. So we wouldn't even take damage here. Yeah. I would have liked to see that. We shouldn't get one shot, though I do believe I need a little bit more armor for that. Wow. Retromation hoodie, just saying. <laughs> You're free to show up any moment you want to. It's like, just saying. We have so many turrets around. Five grades, come on. That is okay, that is okay, that is bad. That is okay. That's bad. Actually, eight armor standing still. That could have been interesting. Right. I don't care about that. That is okay. That is okay. No. No. If I would have it, I would get it. That was bad. Mm. Sure. 12 melee damage is a lot. Okay. The thing is, we still have to keep in mind, we still need to, like, kill the bosses when they are low on HP as fast as possible. So yes, the damage matters a lot. Even though attack speed is more important to us, the damage still matters a lot. How to beat this new Danger 5 of Soldier? I wouldn't say anything changed, right? It's a little bit harder since I added elites, but that has been, like, in there for a long time. You just walk around a little bit. If you get the right weapons, you can also just stand still and kill the bosses before they even get to you. Oh no, I'm getting ridiculously tired right now. That is not good. That is like the worst moment to get tired. Because I also wanted to record in a moment. Oh, we got so many crates again, I love that. Yep, amazing. Uh, we still have 800 luck, dude, this is insane. <laughs> Engineering... We have a lot of turrets, but I don't care. That is okay. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I think, at least. Let's get the sausages. How do you have so much damage? Oh, I have 23 range damage, what? Dude. Dude. Okay, when we talked about nuking bosses, that is actually like the perfect weapon to nuke bosses. Congrats to 80k subs, thank you. Yeah, we hit it yesterday. I was happy, or this morning, I was happy to see that. Really happy. Okay, so, the, the, yeah, this is a complicated decision, because, technically speaking, we don't need the shurikens anymore. Like, we want them for their attack speed, but we don't need that many shurikens, so I think I will actually buy this. 
just to nuke the bosses out of their existence. Oh, it's not even that much, is it? Oh, it's 3.8k damage, and I can now build up range damage, right? I could do it. I'll think about it until next wave. I could do it. The, like Because that's the only thing we are missing, really, is like damage to actually do the final step of killing stuff. And we have so many shurikens, we don't need more attacks, I think. Maybe? Oh, losing an entire shuriken is one sixth of our damage, but we get the obliterator. And that al also allows me to go for range damage. More. Hmm. Hmm. Tough decision. I wonder if it's worth it. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Definitely. Like, even here, the armored guys, we notice they walk in so far. We need to change something. If we keep going exactly what we have already been doing, it won't be enough. But that doesn't mean the obliterator will make up for that, okay? It just means whatever's happened. Like, look at this. That dude got to me. Like, that shouldn't happen. <clears throat> I guess. I'm not a big fan of that, but I guess. No. Okay. Altar, Altar! <laughs> that charging, do they? Uh, but it had nothing to do with the shurikens, yeah. That, that, that thing that's 78,000. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, okay, because it attacks so often, right? It applies to giant's belt. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just got nuked out of existence. <laughs> that, ch that charging dude is so annoying, man! It's always the same story. Oh my god. Yeah, the no hoodie was a problem. We would have gotten 246% attack speed. And even more because then I would have focused more on dodge, right? Um, I mean, that was still hilarious. That was still hilarious. But yeah. We had one mouse an entire run. Are you kidding me? Really? Okay, I think I will still put that on YouTube because the timing with the mammoth and stuff like this was just hilarious, but yeah. Where's Loud? I wanna see what wave we were on. How do I not know where he is? Am I stupid? <laughs> huh? Ah, there. Uh, yeah, 45 was it. Okay, well that was it. I'm gonna go to recording. And that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, see you the next time. Bye-bye.